Wrangler on my booty. <laughs> Can't nobody tell me nothing. All right, welcome. This is episode X of uh, X not meaning 10. X is just a variable representing the number because I don't know which fucking one we're on Endless right potential. Now. Endless, endless potential. Yeah, I've lost track too. How many were even on? Not, I, actually, not enough and all too many at the yeah. same time. I have, an, I have them all numbered in the actual page. Do you mean every one of them we've ever done? Like, every podcast we've ever done. I think every, yeah, every podcast the Turbo Select name has done. <sighs> oh, we did, uh, we've done a lot. Yeah, we've done a, We used to bang them out every fucking week. It was like, uh, uh, especially when Smash Bros. 4 was coming out. Because uh, 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 we played, we played Project M, and then we like would just record like us playing, and we'll talk about like a subject as we're playing, which is a. Uh, I don't know why we don't do that now. It's been such a long time. Because there was a lot of clickety clacks and stuff in the background, and we had the, <laughs> we had the shittiest mic that was like we used to put on this chair, and we used to like you it know, was you, like a headset mic. You could just take game footage from our recorded, you know, the streams that we've that's done. That's what recently. I plan on doing. Oh go. yeah, that's that's, that's what, what I plan on doing. Man, and the only part. the only uh, one who wanted to really talk about is Matt. More. I mean, I like Smash. Man, what can I say? But yeah. All right. Yeah. So welcome to episode motherfucking X. Hope you enjoyed uh, listening. Because what else you do with the podcast? Bye. <laughs> I mean, sure, Speaking of Smash, it's a good segue because uh, fuck melee, said Mister Wizard. Yeah, fuck yeah. melee. Um, this is a topic. Let's talk about Evo. Mm-hmm. That was exactly what I was talking about. Yeah, that was a, that was a good segue. I like how you did. For that. those of you who don't know, Evo, short for Evolution, the Evolution fighting game series, well, like literally the great, the biggest fighting game tournament in the world. Because who the fuck goes to Super Battle Opera anymore? No one. Because it doesn't exist anymore. I was about to say, I've never heard of this. Super Battle Opera used to be a tournament in Japan where they hosted a bunch of different fighting games. Mostly Street Fighter Mm. was like the big headliner. It's sort of like Evo, but it's smaller. Now now the big one over there that I see is... Evo 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 Japan. Japan. (laughs) There's a a Japanese Third Strike tournament. The um, um, Cooperation Cup. Which happens every year, and that shit is—it's always fucking huge, because people over there still love Third Strike. It's huge over there still. So I yeah. believe it. the but mechanic is God. Evo Evolution uh, a couple weeks ago, actually. They, Rest uh, in peace to Melee, because fuck that game. Oh, we're getting there. They uh, they announced their lineup for for uh, this year's tournament, and I bet you couldn't guess what didn't make it. The games consist well. There are nine games. Usually, usually they usually do nine nine titles. Nine um, main, main titles. Main titles because they still have side tournaments. But uh, this year they did nine. No surprise tenth like they did one year. I forgot which one it was. But the games uh, it went like this. It went Soul Calibur six, Mortal Kombat eleven, Samurai Showdown, which I don't think anyone was expecting. Uh, Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle, Tekken seven. Street Fighter V Arcade Edition, of course. Dragon Ball Fighters Z, Fighter Z. I don't know why I always call them. Just Fighters. Super Smash Brothers Ultimate, because you always got to get a get that in there. And the one that fucking surprised everyone. 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 And I was happy to hear about was Undernight in Birth. That shit. Whoa, whoa! They crazy. gave they gave the cast from Blaze Blue Tag Battle their own game. <laughs> That's crazy, so cool. Right? <laughs> no, that's from Blaze Blue. No, that's what I was like, what are, you, what are you talking about? Leather! <laughs> they, gave own, they gave them their own game. That's yeah. so That's so generous. That's of, adorable. Uh, so, Arc System Works, the let French bread make a game. The biggest The biggest thing, the, the controversy, so I guess you could even, if you could even call it that. that I love how upset. It's because back in, what was it, 2012? 2012 melee came back into the the evolution scene came where back. they they brought came they brought back. back melee super smash brothers melee after that whole donation thing right yeah they had the uh, breast cancer awareness or breast cancer fund and the melee community raised the most money uh, and then the melee community faced their biggest challenge yet reggie fills them in yeah <laughs> nintendo, <laughs> nintendo almost nintendo didn't let, let them fucking, stream it yeah they didn't almost they almost didn't let them stream it but they they, they fucking worked it out but Ever since then, they uh, they've had their they've had their game at the uh, at, Evo, at Evo, 
And then when Smash 4 came out, they had that. And so they had two Smash games taken up two slots. And then finally this year, Evo, the Evo organizers, I guess, came to the decision that, you know, we gotta drop one of them, so they dropped Melee. You know what else they dropped? Fucking Guilty Gear. You know, well, that's that was was that even was that there last year? Yeah, yeah it was. Yeah, uh, it fucking was. Uh, what the fuck? The uh, second revision for fucking Guilty yeah, Gear. Yeah, XR Rev Two. Yeah, I mean there. Has well, to it been was to make room new. for fucking uh, unjust. So. Samurai yeah. Showdown though. So Samurai the Showdown. Uh, there's there's two things about Samurai Showdown. One, when it got announced that it was going to be there. There were people on Twitter uh, immediately. Jeremy probably saw it. There was people immediately like this generic samurai game, and I'm just thinking, wow, you kids need to fucking brush up on your history. Right, and, and and not trying to dispute the lineage of the game because I understand it has been around for like since the 90s or something like that. Yes, it's like oh, well over 20 years. Old. Yeah, it's so one of SNK's oldest. Right. It's one of next to King of Fighters and Art of Fighting. It is one of their oldest uh, no, 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 games, no, no. like Neo not Geo of, type not stuff. Not King of Fight. Well, yeah. The one of their oldest titles was um. I mean, King of Fighters is still running, yeah. But one of their oldest titles was Real Bout Fatal Fury and. Ah, okay. uh, no one, no one talks. About, yeah, your Fatal Fury. Bro, Nobody people love out. Real Bout Fatal Fury. They. Love I'm not shit. saying they don't, but no, like no one talks about Fatal Fury much. What about like? Gar, Mark of the Wolves, and all that shit. Oh, people talk. Uh, people isn't talk that all about... like in the same vein of games? At least Gar, at least Gar, Mark of the Wolves got another port. I'll people talk about Gar, but they don't play Gar. What is a uh, Sam show come out in like relation to Evo? It comes out in June. That's kind of close. That yeah, is close. Yeah, the, they said the beginning of summer, I think, in June, and fucking when's Evo in August, right? It's like I was gonna say August or September. It's like yeah, August, so that's that's September, why it's. That's why it's really weird. Well, they did. Remember, they did the same exact thing last year with Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle. They made yeah, a but big that deal had dude that came out in like May or something though. I, I, I'm gonna be sure. real. They they probably could have got rid of Cross Tag and kept. I'm, what I'm seeing gear. here is it looks People like, like Cross Tag. It looks like SNK is just like hey man. Get one of our new titles. I here. I love that people were like SNK put, paid them, and I'm like. I like everyone else, it's, it's no, it's like what money? What you think SNK doesn't have money? They have money now. They definitely they, have money now. Those uh, those uh, Geese Howard fucking money coming in from fucking Tekken. They're like, mm, yes, give us more money, yes. Like I'm pretty sure both Evo, the Evo organizers, and SNK worked some fucking cross promotion bullshit because nobody was expecting Samurai Showdown. Nobody. Uh, people were sooner expecting fucking King of Fighters than they were expecting Samurai Showdown. Like I'm surprised Dead or Alive's not on there, honestly. That's probably well, like well, two after, sexy boobies. After the whole Evil Japan nonsense, why would they? Uh, like, of course they're not going to include Core values, Alive. bro. Our fucking core values. It doesn't represent it. Fuck you, Dead or Alive. Get those titties, those gross boobies out of our face. You know? It's whatever. But the whole controversy that popped up, uh, that came up, was the whole melee community up in a fucking in an uproar because melee didn't make it into Evo? Mostly the uh, top players, a the lot gods, of the, players the gods of, e of uh, melee. We're fucking crying. Armada, hungry it. box. And, and really, like, Lefin. how long do you need Mega. for a game to to be in Evo? Like, how long? Yeah, like melee's for been there for No, they years. wanted to, well, see, they wanted it there forever. A lot of games come and go. Like, they come and go, they have their time, and then that's it. And they have different iterations, you know? Yeah. I'm wondering if, like, it's a... Uh, because Smash Brothers, especially Melee, has, like... They have enough events throughout the year just for Smash Brothers. Just for Smash And I'm wondering, like, what the payout was at Melee for Melee for uh, Evo that's, like, making them such a big deal about it. Because they have Smash Con, they have Apex. Genesis. Genesis. They have all this other shit. I'm, I'm guessing like they're they're pissy about it because for one it's not at Evo the biggest fighting game tournament out there, and then there's the the payout was probably like insane for them, like especially like the top three whatever it was probably really good compared. Oh. I, I just I just want to know like the numbers compared to like the other events like the payouts 
dependent. I mean, they have the they get the pop bonus, so whatever pop bonus there is, but payouts also dependent on fucking uh, how many people. Enter. Well, I, like yeah, I mean that's that that's common sense. But I'm just like, there's Apex and there's Genesis. How many people show up to those as opposed to Evo Melee? That's a good question. I don't. I never actually looked at the numbers for Genesis. Or fucking CEO Dreamland or Smash Con. If anyone happens to know and you happen to be listening to this podcast, leave it in the comments and we'll discuss it. But yeah, all one of you. I imagine. I imagine the numbers are. I mean, for Smash, like the Smash events, like the main Smash tournaments, uh, I don't think they're as high as Evo, because Evo generates a lot, a lot of numbers for you, all you know what, games. You know what else is fun when. Uh... When Samurai Showdown got announced and there were some people who didn't even know what the fuck it was looking it up, I believe I saw some posts that were like really shocked at how much damage there was and some people were calling it bro- broken. It's like and they it's never like, looked at the older games. It's like Samurai Showdown is like, uh, you guys, what the fuck's the name of that one game? Last Blade? Not Last Blade. Um, it's a, where you just die in one hit. Um, it's sort of similar. Like you, the, the amount of the amount of damage you can do with uh, Samurai Showdown characters is crazy because like three good hits and you're dead. I mean, you, three short you can in Street Fighter two and you're are dead. Are you thinking hmm. about wait the game you're thinking about? Was it a 3D game? Yeah. Uh, you know what I'm talking about, right? Bushido Battle. No, no. Yeah, Bushido, Bushido Blade. Bushido yeah, Blade. There you yeah, go. that's the one. Yeah, it, where it's, it's like it's realistic like, yeah. and based off of limbs, and if you fucking get hit, mm. your legs. Done. Well, I mean, in Samurai Showdown, it's not so realistic because you got a guy drinking alcohol and throwing hurricanes from his sword. But oh, hey, well, of course. Whenever they released uh, that uh, that one game based on that show, I think it was called like Deadliest Warrior or some shit like that, and like they'll pin up like two different like warriors of two different timelines together, and they'll be like, "Who will win?" And they release the game, and the like the guy with the spear. Yeah, the guy with the spear just like chucks it at the dude, and he just dies immediately. <laughs> I was so, like, oh. So yeah, when people saw that, they were really surprised, and it's like that's just how uh, that's how the game's always been. No, it's way worse than Street Fighter. At least you can like block. In most cases, with Samurai Showdown, you you're fucked. Yeah, I can't. And you get those like fatal hits or whatever. I can't say I ever played uh, Samurai Showdown before, so you I've... you doesn't no. It doesn't matter if you have or not. You played Capcom versus SNK two. Yeah, he re- he retains uh, for the most part a lot of. He, dude, there was a fucking video where someone fucking oh, picks. Yeah, they pick him and they do the one groove. I think the K groove, and then they uh, they make sure that he's like oh, he's got like next to no health, and they do like one slash, and you're just fucking dead. Yeah, it's ridiculous. And they just pick, yeah, it's just like like you remember when we play S- SV, uh, CVS two, and like if you pick Halmar, and like and you do that like that one slash, which is like a fatal slash, it always causes the game to like slow down. It gets that like slow. Is that the it, main it, character dude with like the sword? Yes, who does the yeah. Yeah. with the yeah. white. Yeah. Yeah. Howard. He he always has that one sla- he has that one slash that when it hits it like it makes it look like the game's frame rate is fucking chugging. To be but fair, it's not. it probably was. That's like a thing. That's like a thing where it's like it's That's like a fatal sign, hit. Yeah. yeah, I know when I got hit with a blade, life slowed down for me. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, um, you get dude. It's pretty violent too because people what they get slashed in half and just blood sprays out or their fucking whole torso comes off. They don't. They're not doing that in the new game though, right? Is this? Uh, you know, I haven't. I don't know. I didn't actually see enough. Because I remember, I remember hearing that like, because uh, like I said, I never played it, but I remember hearing that back in the day that was like a thing for that game. It was like you can like lose limbs or some shit. Oh, fuck yeah, you know. could. You could. There was shit like decapitations and shit like that. I remember there was that Xbox 360 one, and there's always a particular clip. Oh, always... fuck what Zen, fuck that. Yeah, game. there's always a particular clip I always see pop up for that game, where I forgot which character it was that was fighting, um, what was, what's her name? The the chick that you like with the bird, man. I forget. It's like, uh, it's like Nakaru, Nakaru. Nakaru. Yeah. And like, they fucking, they beat, they won the match, but they killed her, and they literally sliced half of her torso off, and like, you see it. And I was just like, Jesus Christ. It was one lone titty on the <laughs> Like, this is a little girl you just murdered. Hey, man, she knew what she was getting into with that bird, so. It's true. <laughs> with that bird. But, um, the big thing that came out, uh, was like every, all these Melee players in the Melee community, like the majority of the Melee community, losing their collective shit. Because, Bruh. you know, Evo wasn't hosting or doing a tournament for them anymore. And, you know, you got people sitting here all over, like, all over saying things like, you know, Evo needs 
fucking melee. Melee's super big, all this, and they're getting upset, saying all this Evo crazy existed. shit. Evo yeah. existed before melee. Or they were also saying things like along the lines of like, oh, well, Evo wouldn't exist if it wasn't for melee. Melee makes all this money for them, and all this bullshit. Some of the some of the top players were saying things like Armada. I know recently had a uh, in a, like a, a portion of his stream where he just sat here and said, "People, what was it, Matt? You you." He remember? said he said everyone who he said everyone who plays melee like you know stuck with the game, learned it, got better, blah blah blah. And he was like everyone else who moved on to Brawl, Smash Four, and Ultimate are just like sheep following the herd or some shit like that. And this is that's how fucking fighting games work. You move on to the next thing that comes out, like. And then, like, people were just, like, pointing it out all over Twitter, because a few people are following Twitter, they're just, like, they're, like, they're like this is the exact reason why no one, like, really respects, like, the Melee community, because you say stupid shit like that. Like, oh, we're just, like, sheep following the herd, like, everyone does it, Street Fighter, fucking, S fucking any SNK, SNK game, like, fucking King of Fighters shit. Tekken. Tekken, you just move on to the next thing, like, it's just, at that point, it's like, you either like it, and you move on, or you just stick with it. I mean, I, if you stick with it, more respect to you, it's whatever, but at the same time, you know, it just becomes more convenient, like, to switch... Fucking carrying that thing with you wherever the fuck you go, it, is, it only weighs like two pounds, and you can hook it up to a flat screen as opposed to like melee players who have all these CRT TVs Whoa, and shit like that. You, I'm sorry, bro. I'm just saying. Like, <laughs> you gotta unlock all those now, characters. Now, now, I don't know if you guys know about this or not, but I think it was back 2008 when Super Battle Opera was nearing its like last legs or whatever. They stopped having Super Street Fighter 2 being played. I remember asking someone at the time at a college we all went to that um like shouldn't they be allowed to play the last year and they had almost been there 20 years i think or something yeah like for its entire lifespan and it's like okay they've had so much time it's the same thing with with melee you've had so much time ultimate's a new thing out and you know why ultimate's being pushed and why melee they're like no it's not just because of like a money thing We lost you for a second there, Jeff. You can you repeat that? No, he's talking, but we can't hear. There we go. Yeah. Now, what you don't know is he actually contracted part out. a rare form of narcolepsy. We're, we're gonna... <laughs> he's passed out. As he's like... <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna cut this part out, Jeff. You there? Yeah, me. it's because Nintendo's probably like fucking put Ultimate in there. They don't want Melee there, probably. Well, yeah, it's it's the new game. It's, know, it's right? the new game. Why not? You know. Well, I mean, yeah, Nintendo's no, that's, officially that's sponsoring what... it too, aren't they? Yeah, uh, they they straight up probably want Ultimate there. Like, well, they don't and, want and melee. That, that's the thing. Like, I gotta understand if you were a melee player and then Brawl came out. Yeah, like Brawl wasn't the best Smash. Okay, so you stick with melee. Got it. You know, uh, fucking Smash for Wii U comes out. You know, it's it's decent. It's better. It improved. You but know, the Wii U sells like crap. Right. Because I, I know I, I never committed, but as soon as the Switch announced uh, Ultimate, I made my purchase, especially with the, the portability of it. So it's just like, you know. The 3DS version of Smash 4 actually sold more. Because there's more 3DSs out that's, in the wild. Yeah, that's fucking I believe crazy. that. You know what's funny? One of the one of the top uh, Melee players made a tweet, and was, you know, I, I found it funny. Where he was just like, Evo clearly only wants to get the games that pay them the most or some shit like that like that they're only interested in the money and they want to get they want the games that pay them and i was just like what money does the undernight developer like have what do they have like they got no money mm, french bread like they Did got money yet? to, to <laughs> just pay evo to get their game in top in the, into the top games the main games i was like what the fuck are you saying that makes there's been sense. a lot of support though there, well, from yeah this. from the com from the community yeah, it's almost as if there's a yeah, there is it's almost like there's a community. And Crazy. I don't know, if, I don't know if you watched it, but the Evo tournament last year for Undernight, the side tournament for Undernight and Bird, that shit was fucking. It was really exciting, bro. That that Akoski dude who who took who ended up taking the championship, that guy is fucking wild. Yeah, like the the side tournament for Undernight and Bird at Evo last year was fucking dope. I'd recommend yeah. watching it for anyone. Listening. Yeah, but but, but melee. <laughs> but my melee it's funny cause Salem as that announced uh, that melee wasn't coming back Salem was like finally 
And then, like, the day after, <laughs> he, he ended he up getting dropped. Spots, and then Leffen was like, finally. I was like, damn. <laughs> that shit came around real quick. My favorite reaction, because uh, I watched little compilation reactions of, like, everyone, all these Smash players were watching the stream, the Evo stream. It was Mango, where he's sitting there and he's like, what? What the fuck? Like, <laughs> joking the whole time. And then at the end, someone, like, comments in and is like, you gonna, you gonna play, be there? And he's like, yeah, I'll be there for Smash Ultimate. And I was like, ha. At least somebody yeah. the, the right... Yeah, idea. no shit, they're gonna be there. The money. Yeah. Like, we talked about this many years ago, specifically with Street Fighter. It's like, people are gonna play it as long as there's money. Mm. Well, the That's one, it. The one thing that the Fighter Mr. Fun. Wizard fucking said... During the stream. Also, I hate his face. Can we talk about that? Like, when, when, <laughs> kind of looks, like yeah, yeah, looks like a pear. Yeah, he's, he's been at it for a while. He's uh, he's starting to deteriorate all over. <laughs> but he was saying something along the lines that like they, the reason that like they kept Ultimate, and they wanted to do more things with Ultimate is because they kind of like it, the game is kind of a melting point for all the games communities. It kind of like brings them all together. So you got all the melee players, the 64 players. Well, that, the that's their players. intent, at least. Yeah, that that's what yeah. it seems like, is that they want to kind of bring them together and like, with this game. I'm not, like, the best melee player ever. I suck greatly at the game. But watching competitive melee after a while gets, like, really boring. Bro, like, when Look. you have established gods in the game that are gonna, like, wreck it every tournament they're gonna be. What is it, like, five or six of them or something like yeah, that? Yeah, it's like, it's like Mewtwo King, Armada... H-Box. Hip, yeah, Hungrybox. Uh, Lefin. 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 No, Lefin, Lefin, Lefin was yeah, the God Slayer. Say, he was yeah. the God Slayer. There's the, one more know, game in in oh, oh, fuck, Lef, Lefin, fuck that guy. I keep seeing posts about, like, things he says, and he says, he, oh, no, he, He's wow. a dick for He's a definitely dick. a dick. He's a dick for just being a dick. Yeah, like, no, I'm calling him, no, I'm calling him a huge moron. I'm not... Yeah. He's, he's just the, stupid. Does, he's the one does that he said, glue? Like, does he glue as a hobby? I don't. He's the one. He's the one that sat here and said that Evo only cares about money. Meanwhile, you got Under Knight in there. Yeah. I mean, if I remember correctly, he did start playing fighters competitively. So. Yeah, he plays. He plays Marvel too. He plays. Marvel, he played Marvel three. He played Marvel oh. three. He played fighters and he plays. Uh... Then what the wait? Yeah, he, he plays Marvel he, three. He then played, go fuck off. He yeah. played fighters and from what I saw, he's actually really. Yeah, he's good. he was he was he wasn't. I think he was like top top eight losers or something. Well, this like is that? the same dude too who got himself banned from every fucking tournament in Europe. For is like it because he smells? Does like he that. smell like pee? Like most? Because no, he's like, he was like, it was like a, there was like a whole controversy surrounding him because he was just a big asshole. Like, yeah. and yeah, he smells. Because like he pee. smells like the smell like pee. Know, like he <laughs> seems like the more well dressed and well groomed people in the Smash community. Yeah, he was just the, his biggest thing was that he was just a dick. Fair enough. Big throbbing. Penis. Big old Fucking throbbing. penis. We started off with Brawl, played melee that, that, on the side as, for like fun, and then he just got really big. And that's good. like a that's like a trend in the Smash community. Unlikable assholes, huh? I guess so. Seems I mean, you, you, if you if you dive deep in any fucking like this, community, you'll you, you'll find. You know, not a lot of people around. like Filip not a lot of people like Filipino champ, right? But at least you've got people like Justin Wong. Like you'll like him. Yeah. Like, I'm just saying. I'm just saying, like, when you look at the Smash community, it's just full of a bunch of unlikable assholes you know that want to make a play comeback? the same game forever. Goddamn Waxel. No, Mar needs to make a comeback so he can go to the restaurants and he's take his plate away. Like, yeah. Whatever, ha whatever <laughs> happened to Mar? Where's he's he still retired, dude. He's still he went to Denny's and he it took him away. I follow him on Twitter. He's still around. No, he said... He's uh, at final round right now. He said he was quitting from competitive a while. Yeah, ago. he said for a while that he just wasn't going to, like, compete as much. Like, he, he made a tweet um, that he's at final round, but he mm. showed his badge and it says spectator, so he's mm. only spectator. He's mm. not competing. He just, I guess he just got tired of it for all these days. Tessanoko versus Capcom is not as big anymore. I mean, he's that, like, oh. that he was the champion. He's un Wait, he's when the was undisputed that champion when was that ever When was Tessanoko versus Capcom ever big? One yes. Here. The one here. The is one here. <laughs> when people were clamoring for fucking three and they didn't reveal three quite yet, but they were like, "Here's Tasunoko. You know, here's our three beta. Play it on the Wii with this unimpressive online. Mm. All uh, the pain. Yeah, you know, you know, Smash drama at Evo. Good times. Always a good time. What they need to do is get 99 fucking Nintendo Switches, land those shits together, and play some Tetris. All right, yeah, give them all bars. Dude, so can you imagine if they put <laughs> Tetris 99? Yeah, I, I can imagine that being a side tournament. 
can you do you even have that set up for Tetris yet? Like you can do like lands or private I servers or shit. I don't, like don't that? think you can. Do that it game, either. that game is so fucking bare bones it hurts. I don't, like, I don't uh, think you sucks. can do anything. Well, it is like a free to play thing. Yeah, yeah it is. It's is there anything you can pay for in that game? No, they had a tournament recently, like this past week, where <laughs> if you like, it's, it was like one of those events that Nintendo put out for the game, and it was like if you get so many wins, you can qualify for like a, I don't know some. Prize or some shit like Sorry, that. we don't we don't need Tetris done now. We can get our Catherine full body tournament going on. All right. Whoa, bro, that's top. Whoa, whoa, that's a really touchy subject. It is we a can't touchy. Talk enough. <laughs> Actually, it's funny that I say I mentioned that because like the guy who always organizes the tournaments for Catherine. There's F no. He's like, yeah, he's no, just like no. I'm done with Catherine after like the whole debacle. By the, by, by the way, uh, I actually played full body, and I can confirm people are overreacting. Yeah, so. I've heard. I've heard. Are they but though? yeah, the, uh, are they? yeah, the whole, no, they the are Erica like thing? not just that. It was with like, Rin. With Rin, when I... people actually, when people actually play it, their mind's gonna be blown because I didn't expect for the game to go the way it did. But I don't. Sure. I didn't like. I don't plan on playing that game at all. Um, but I read the I read the wiki on that character. That's uh, woo. Some interesting shit there. Everybody has dicks. Spoiler cast. No, it's more <laughs> like everybody alien shit. Everybody has dicks. Dicks everywhere. Dicks for everybody. Anyway, yeah, I don't. I I hope that they continue Catherine uh, uh, side stuff, but like, if people are gonna you know feel the way that they do about it, not all you could do. Well, then I guess they don't really care about the competitive aspect of that game if they care about. I mean, I get it. The competitive aspect of. I get. I get why people are getting upset. It's stupid. I think it's. I think it is overreacting as well. But it's whatever. You know what's going on with this, Richard? This whole full body Catherine thing. No. Uh, I'm, All right. I'm so with should we should we break into spoiler cast right now? Yeah. Why not? So there's. You want to really talk about? It? Yeah. Let's, yeah, let's talk about it. Let's bring it up. So there's a character. There's a character in Catherine, mm -hmm. a trans character. Okay. Her name's Erica. Erica, An Erica Anderson. Yeah, Erica Anderson. Okay. And looks like Ronald McDonald. In the original game, they kind of, from what, like, it didn't come off that way. It just seems like that's just how, like, because they were all friends. There's a group of like four guys, mm -hmm. and, then, and then there's Erica who works at the bar. The four guys restaurant includes the main would, character. Yeah. Okay. That they always that they always go to, okay. and they're all like close knit, like they're friends from high school. They're all good friends. Okay. And in the first game, they kind of just like every so often drop like offhand comments towards Erica, like something along the line. I forgot what it was. Um, well, like when uh, one of the dudes had sex with her, okay. and he was like, he lost his V card when he did it. He was like, I don't know. He was like, something about it was a little off. It was weird, and they were like, they knew. That it was like it, they you know. they drop like little little things here and there and it's I just like to me thing. to me it doesn't rub me that like it doesn't I mean I don't it doesn't affect me because I'm not a trans person rubbed it on Toby but uh, it, like, to me it doesn't come off that way because it's like they're all like good friends but in full body in the newer version is it like a Redux like a DLC yeah, yeah they added like, they added, they added, they added like a, a new character a few endings and some other shit Catherine Catherine and Catherine with a Q that they call Rin yeah um okay. one of the there's like a new ending that they added into the game mm -hmm. where the it's one Catherine the true ending wasn't it yeah it's like the no true there's more thing. there's more than one new ending well either way the one ending that we're in question that we're talking about right now Catherine with a C blonde Catherine with a C the main who goes, Catherine Yes, mm -hmm. who goes wow. back and who decides to time travel okay. to try and make everyone's lives better. Okay. So seems, she seems she goes reasonable. back in time, and from what I've gathered, she go she when she goes back in time, she goes back to like meet Vincent and be with Vincent, okay. and thus changing, altering the timeline. Right. And this altering of the timeline prevents Erica from transitioning from a man to a woman. From Eric to Erica. Yeah. So now he's he she whatever you want to call her. Is still Eric. Okay, so I mean, now he instead of being transgender female Erica with a penis, yeah, this is no. The, now, I think it's after the full transition. Yeah, I think the, no, oh, yeah, Erica full, oh, full, fully. Oh, she. Oh, yeah. okay, she did the. Okay, so post op. Now this is Erica. Pre this is cisgender pre op Erica no, no, with a penis. Not si Well, we don't know what they're. 
affiliation. Yeah. So the this whole is, this, is, this is Eric with a penis, not so the Erica whole point, without yeah. a penis. So the whole point is that Erica was a fully transitioned post-op transsexual man, uh, uh-huh. female. Uh huh. That one of the dudes in the bar had sex with, and it was like, oh, it was a little weird. Like it felt a little awful, her, and they were all like, because mm-hmm, there used to be a guy, blah blah. Right. And then when Catherine went back in time and changed the events. He never went through the transition, and it was... I don't... Like, I know there's multiple endings, but there was, like, words... There was rumors being thrown around that this was the true ending, like, the best ending you can get. Mm. And people were, like, up in arms because, like, oh, why are you why making the, the best ending? ending? The, the well. implication... The implication with that particular ending is that Catherine does it to make everyone's lives better. better. Yeah. Oh. And the implication that people were getting all upset about is they were just like, oh, so in order for Eric... Erica... Eric their life to be better the they have transition? to not transition at all they mm. just have to be them they can't be you know they can't transition to a, a, a woman what they want and be to better do. off so that okay. that's that was what people were getting so upset about and then the whole nonsense with Rin was a whole another thing that people were getting upset about oh another Cause, thing because Rin is an alien with fucking Dicks. male genitalia Alien dick. Vin- Vincent becomes the big gay in that ending. Yeah. <laughs> he does. So, well, yeah, if, we're going that, if we're going that far, if we're going that far with uh, with Rin, eventually, so there's two things with that. One, in order to get locked into the Rin route, you have to like make a flower grow. Do you know the uh, the the karma bar, the meter? It actually breaks in half, and then a flower has to grow out of it. You have to pick the right options. So once it fully blooms, that's laying it really on fucking thick. So you get... <clears throat> the the whole reason... After the flower blooms, the ending happens. Rin's brother descends upon you. This giant evil alien that's like, I'm going to destroy the world now if you don't give me my brother back. <laughs> so <laughs> it's, it's like, but I love him. And then he's like, no. So he's going to destroy the world with a giant meteorite. And as you're climbing up, you see the meteorite in the background going to crash into the earth. That's cool. All right. There's one uh, There's one stop you make, uh, one of the confessional stops. There's actually a picture. There's this giant picture of Vincent and Rin on it, right? And the, this dude is so upset. He put this picture here, and he slashed Vincent's side of the picture. He's just so upset. And then he turns into a bunch of minions once you beat him. You know, when the, <laughs> when, the, when Catherine first came out on like but ps3 and 360 and all that i was talking to a few friends on a forum i went to and Whoa. they were they were getting all sorts of upset that uh because they didn't beat the game yet and they thought the meter was like uh like a good or a bad meter or like good and evil meter and they're like why hook them when i make the decision it says i'm evil blah that's dumb and i'm like bro you have no idea what the fuck it means just beat the game already you fucking asshole <laughs> <laughs> oh it's i like that that's funny like here comes this alien, this giant alien dude. It's just like, give my he's not back. even a giant. He's not even a giant alien. Is that he's just multiple little minion aliens? Well, yeah, but he comes out of nowhere stop and he's like, I'm, my brother I'm gonna ass. stop. Give me back my brother. Or I'm gonna destroy the planet. That's, this um, fucking tower. That's the thing <laughs> in the beginning of the game that's like stomping around was him. Really? Rin, the yeah, beginning of the game weird. starts with the the beginning of the game starts with Rin falling right on top of Vincent. So so let's take a count here for Catherine. We got demons, succubuses, time travel, other world D <laughs> shit, time travel and aliens. It's fucking all right. And then they, that ending's hilarious because Vincent becomes a music producer for Rin's uh, music videos, oh, yeah, and she, Johnny she gets a together. Johnny gets an alien girlfriend. They have the wedding on a spaceship, and everyone's there. Sounds like a good time. Man, I can't, I can't when wait. Vincent became like the demon, and him and Catherine are just constantly fucking doing it. And I can't they're wait. They're standing on top play. of her, bo- her dad's body, and he was like, "Well, oh, Dad, I know you're down there. I'm fucking your daughter." There's also the There's also the Joker DLC. What in the god? Damn. Joker yeah. DLC. Yeah, you get it for you get to play Babel with jo- as Joker and Joker like DLC. Story. Joker becomes a uh, love interest, and you get to fuck him in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> Persona. <laughs> you get the you get the you you get to use him in the Tower of Babel. So I mean, that's kind of cool. Yeah, you can also go on uh, go online with uh, Babel now. All right. Oh, you can do online like the two players and shit. I think so. At least you can do know. this. At least you can do the share play on PS4 and do the whole like second player controller thing. Fuck, fuck Tower of Babel. I hate I hate I hate Tower of Babel so much. Mm-hmm. Here at Turbo Select, uh, yes, Richard, so... this is the poop. 
So if we're going to talk about with Catherine here, the uh, the guy who made the game, <laughs> the director... Yes. Hi, glad you sorry. The, uh, the director of Catherine is the same director for Persona 5, and people were trying to get uh, him fired, specifically from, specifically from Reset Error. And the thing is, they cited other notable uh, problematic things that he's done, like in Persona 5 with the gay people in there, they didn't like that. Didn't like the fact there was no gay love interest in Persona 5, uh, just a bunch of various things, and Reset Error was really trying yeah like they were doxing him they were finding his address really that's oh yeah they were, oh my god they were trying a lot of things and uh i've talked over with a f quite a few people and as much as they uh don't uh like what they've heard even though it was overblown and people didn't actually completely know uh, a number of these people still want to buy the game so uh i don't get like why uh, like the character I understand, like, if it's a game where you, like, create your own character and it's, like, your role. But when it's a, like, RPG or something like Persona or something, and the character's obviously, like, a heterosexual male, why do you expect, like, a, a gay love interest or anything like that? So, I feel, I feel I've like been, that's okay. Worse. So, I've been, I've been wondering specifically why with Japanese games, I've been asking around about that lately. Like, I don't see what the big deal, I don't personally see what the big deal is. Maybe, I think it's just because, like, we're not gay. Like, we just don't get that mindset, I guess. Yeah. That's the only, th like, thing I can really say. And the and the thing is, I guess, with Persona 5 in particular, it's a really, it was a really big game. So, you know, people want, like, a proper story done. But then, I, ha I have to ask some people, you do realize it's who's writing this, right? Do you guys really these people kind of fumble when they write certain things to begin with anyway no i figured so so i don't i don't know if they can actually handle doing gay romance maybe well i mean like although uh, hey uh fucking uh, catherine full body came out and vincent's gay and he was totally happy about it so i don't but these are also know. people who write stories and don't give a fuck like about our social justice and political correctness and all that stuff over here they just write their stories it's their stories they just write them they don't care what we think that's, about it that's another side of it it's like these japanese developers who they're they're designing their game and writing their stories and their characters specifically like even though they're american characters like they're supposed to be based in america they write these characters for japan like i don't i don't well also the the other thing is that I do find it kind of weird when people were like Japanese people don't like gay people or something. Yeah. It's really weird. I mean, considering... I understand that like people yearn, especially people of these communities and sexual preferences and stuff, they they want to see themselves like represented in a video game and shit like that. But when the when the game's obviously about a character who's a heterosexual male who's chasing bitches and stuff like that, like you're not going to you're not going to find that there. Like there I feel like and like you said earlier, it's true. We we don't know because we're we're straight, you know, we're straight men of different ethnic backgrounds, whatever. But they're looking for this rep representation in like all the wrong places. Like, don't look for Persona to do it. Like, can't you have like a a quote unquote like gay relationship with somebody in like the newest Assassin's Creed or some shit like that? Like, yeah. can't you do like can't you do like whatever in that game? Like, you just... in uh, in Odyssey, yeah, you can pursue, I believe, gay or uh, lesbian. It's like when vegetarians get upset that there's not a veggie burger on McDonald's menu or some shit like that. Like you're looking in the wrong place, my guy. Yeah, but the problem, like the thing is, they want they want that representation in like everything, all forms of media that they like. So like they see Persona doing all the, giving all these choices, and they're just like, well, I can't have this choice. And before people we have been, before we continue people... on with this, I want to say like we we don't care what you do in your life. You can be gay, transsexual, whatever. Just be happy. Do you? I don't care. People people but, have been asking for a gay love interest like persona 2 did it that persona 2 had like a, uh, a few gay characters if i remember correctly mm -hmm. uh they've people have been asking for like a gay main love interest for since forever and uh you know people like they just haven't done it for whatever reason i mean should they do it i mean if they won't if they really want to, if they feel like they can write it, but that's the, that's like a whole. I feel like that's a whole other thing being able to write it properly because you can really, you can really fuck, fuck that shit up. It's like trying to write a female character. It's really tough. 
Yeah, there's, mm. there's, it, it's a, it's, it's a very yes, look at, slope. look at how, like it, when you're let's say writing a female character, let's take like Bayonetta. Yeah. Bayonetta is like, Bayonetta has some good lines, but overall she's just can be a sex dream made into like reality. Pretty much, I guess. So. And then you run the risk of this fucking butchering it and making people more angry. But everyone loves, but, but even regardless of like that, that being like his whole fetish and everything. Because she owns her sexuality and all that stuff. People love Bayonetta. No, we know we knew people that didn't like Bayonetta though. Who didn't like Bayonetta? You know. No, I don't know. <laughs> well, we, we should well, drop we, names. We can't drop names. Let's drop. I'm them, not dro I'm not dropping go, names. Go, put, put it in, put it in chat. Yeah, try and put them on put them on blast. Put it in chat. Well, no, you could put it in no. chat too. Yeah, I mean, he. No Eventually, I will. Anyway, yeah. and then I'll be like, oh. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, fucking Bayonetta is a very special case. Marshmallow pumpkin. Because like she's she's just a strong God female damn. character <laughs> that owns it. She owns it, and people like that. And it's weird because like people, there's some people that are just like, oh, I don't like my characters being sexy. Like, why do they gotta be? Why are you making them overly sexy and all that nonsense? But then you got Bayonetta, who's owning it, and people love it. But then when there are other characters, like fucking, who could I think of right now? Nobody, because nobody's sexy. Kasumi. Like, say, Kasumi. Yeah, sure. Let's let's take let's take any one of the dead or alive girls, where like, they're they're over over sexualized. They're like their tits are hanging out and all that well, shit. Well, I, I think the difference between that is when you the Bayonetta is about Bayonetta. All right. Yeah. And Dead or Alive is about girls and their boobs bouncing around. Well, it's, it's about girls fighting and their boobs bouncing around. Okay. I'm I mean, if they if they choose to fight as their, like, profession, and they just happen to have gazangas that are fucking the size of my fucking head, well, that's that's, a, they're going to bounce around a little bit. I mean, that's, that's, a, that's a whole other thing, especially with, like, their whole, I'm a fighter, where they're trying to take it seriously, and it's just... Anyway, like, yeah. better not to get off on a tangent. Yeah. The... Th the whole representation thing, though, it's... We could talk about it forever, but we don't... I'm starting to think if we... Are we even the right people to be talking about this? We're probably not. <laughs> not. We're definitely It's just, not. On, honestly, this is more or less just our thoughts on it. Like, yeah. we're, And it's not anyone listening. It's not, like, indicative of how we feel or whatever. Turbo Select DS like, is not no, discriminating. No, like none of us, none of us discriminate against gays or trans or whatever. You know, it's funny. I saw people on Twitter trying to be like, we should, uh, we should ban Atlas or fucking not, don't buy Atlas games. And I was just like, yeah, that's oh, that's that, 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 be that's like that's been a thing. That's been a thing for a long time. That's been picking up steam because, like I said before, it's the uh, the lack of representation people feel that it doesn't have. Don't do that. Support. I mean, is. I mean, with like Persona Three, when they ported to the PSP, they had the female. Yeah, you had to play the female protagonist. And support Atlas because it almost died. Until there were no gay options. You couldn't be. I gay. mean, if you're a guy playing as the girl, I guess it's gay. Sure, I guess. I guess. Okay. You go after Shinji. He's in a coma. And get fucked. You know, I usually always pick the female character. If there's a female variant of any of any game. And then, like, I picked up, uh, what was it, Fire Emblem uh, Conquest, and I was like, wait a minute, if I choose a female, I'm gonna be fucking dudes. Now I'm good, and I chose a dude. Yeah, Boring. Yeah, yeah, fire in the face. You no know, fuck other dudes. So, but yeah, you know, that's that's our little thing. But I think we should transition into what you know, <laughs> we were actually gonna do. Ah. Oh, <laughs> nice. Did you say, oh! <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm gonna, I'm gonna set it over your way, Matt. What, 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 I mean, I just, like before we went on the whole Evo thing, I was just gonna ask you guys what you've been playing, what you've been up to lately. <laughs> well, now we're I was kind of was kind of hoping to start with that, but I mean, we can we can do that now. I mean, you can we're, you can we're, hold, we can put in some gray space and just edit this into the. Nah, game. we gotta because the, the Evo controversy, live. man. We gotta we, mm. we got. Mm, mm. Mm. But anyway, I was gonna ask you guys what you were playing. What, what you been playing, Jeff? A uh, multitude of things. Let me let me get the main focus. Let me get a main single player experience and then a multiplayer experience for you from you. Uh, there's no multiplayer experience. No, you don't do it's a multi Dead Space Three. Oh, there you go. What, what made you and Fred go back to? Uh, yeah, what, what's Space? going on with Dead Space? We've been we we've, <laughs> we've just been talking about it a while for a while. Just like, hey, we should finish this. And oh, you guys Fred, never finished it. 
I finished it. Fred never did, and we were doing co-op. And five years ago, we stopped when it you guys came whipped out. out the fucking PS3s, dusted them off. I might, uh, uh, for your information, my PS3 is always sitting right next to me on my desk, right next to my PS4. Hey, I love my PS. <laughs> I love my PS3. This I completely thing's completely forgot with Dead Space Three. Like they had the actual ending for DLC, didn't they? We bought the DLC. Oh, what happened? Did you beat it yet? No, we were playing it as you guys. Can you still buy the DLC? Like, who's yes, money you go can. To? Just EA. It, go, yeah. it goes to EA. It was the fuck else? See, think it goes. Oh, it goes to Sony. You think, you just, think it's gonna go to fucking Sony. Visceral Games? Ah, mm. <laughs> they're so, uh, I've been playing fucking. Uh, tra I've been trying to play more Travis Strikes Back, but it's kind of boring at points. It's funny you say that because I just beat that yesterday. I know, I know. You you were talking about it too. I just uh, I. You know what's funny? I, I I actually think it's one of the better games this year though what, Travis back? i besides some Travis of the more like some of the, even though some of the gameplay is pretty repetitive i think it's actually one of the more like i think it's one of the better games of this year so I, far i will say that ending it's it's out there it's very out it, there the whole suit game's of, out there suit is fucking weird man i don't know if i ever told you guys this but fucking he want he, he wants to connect like every one of his games into like a single universe. Killer is dead. No more heroes. Fucking the silver case. Uh, uh I think Zero is sca no, Shadows not Zero of the Damn. Shadows of the Damn. Like he wants to, like all of his games he ever like he had a hand in or his name was on or whatever. He how, wanted to like they're how, all in the same world. How far are you in Travis Strikes Again? I'm I'm on the second. Oh, you have a yeah. long way to go. Cause I was gonna say yeah, the game the game is a lot longer than I thought. Although I, I do like the um. I do like the segments where you just, it's just text. It's the oh, text. the visual novel of segments? I, I think, honestly, the time that Suda finally, like, got... He finally got his... This is, honestly, this game feels like him getting his shit together. Yeah. Because, like, it feels way more, like, uh, cohesive and, like, he knows what he wants to do. I think, like, uh, specifically when The Light of Die came out, like, I don't know how much of a hand he had in it, but, like, that game could have done a lot better. Being a free to play really killed it. So I don't, I don't know how much you care about like me telling you about the future, future levels in this game. But like, I mean, like it gets, it's already stupid, dude. I fucking hate the suburban area with the giant you know, that one, head. That one's the worst one. That one's the worst. That's one. like so like that annoying. Game. It's like soon as like you know, uh, fuck the players, just kill them in one hit. But there's literally, I'm not gonna say which, but there's literally. Um, one game that you play in that game that's literally uh, that has that takes place in the world of one of his one of the old games. One of the old. Uh, games games. I know one of them's uh, Shadows of the Straight Up Shadows of the Dam's just in it. Yeah, that that's it. It's literally Shadows of the Dam. You meet the main character. I've seen that. Okay, yeah, then there. It's but it doesn't happen. So like, it's like the second to last. The second to last one. Uh, but yeah, it's definitely, I think, another reason Travis Strikes Back is really, really good is because of how much it, it represents indie developers. Like, that game, he didn't have to, he didn't have to put in those shirts. He didn't have to do that. It's more than just that. The whole game sends you a message about game development, and it talks about game development throughout the entire game. Yeah. Like, it's literally about it up until the very end. Oh, and my my two year playthrough is almost over. Breath of the Wild. That'll be over someday. You finished it. Aren't you playing Fucking, it on the Wii U? Or you had no, it I'm playing. I have it on the Wii U. I bought it on the Switch, and I've right, been uh, I've been fucking. Did you trying to gr grind? I was trying to get all the seeds, and that was a mistake. I can't do it. I'm did, weak. Did you uh, weak. like play a decent amount on the Wii U? No, I didn't play any on the Wii U. Uh, I was gonna ask like performance wise, how was it like compared? The two. Well, it was a Wii U game, so it probably runs better. Because when I when I first played it, when I when I first got my Switch, uh, the frames were dropping quite a bit. At quite oh like, yeah, quite a different location. I, I also beat uh, Resident Evil Two Remake, Kingdom Hearts Three, and fucking yeah. Kingdom Hearts uh, Three. Uh, Jeff, Devil, let's talk about it. And Devil May Cry Five. No, yeah, fuck, I mean, fuck. You, know, you you and Jeremy can talk about Five. I want to talk about Three, Kingdom Hearts Three. What do you think about it, Jeff? I want your overall like. I told what I told you on Facebook is not a lie. I was a bit let down, but it was still fine. Bro, I watched Matt play that shit, and I was getting angry watching it. 
I was just like, what the fuck? Entering spoiler cast again, be uh, I think the game listeners. literally took... Matt, why did you think the game took 12 years to make or something? I didn't think... No, see, here's the thing. Every time someone says, oh, we waited, we waited this long for a game... I mean, like, when Kingdom Hearts 1 came out, we were like, oh, we want a sequel. Then Chain of Memories came out, and then you get two. Blah. Whatever. The time between 1 and 2 wasn't that far. And then you're like, when you get 2 and you beat 2, and then you get the message in the bottle, baby, and come, come, come and let me out and all that shit. Fucking Christina Aguilera or whatever the fuck what the sing fuck that song. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm just going on the fucking tangent. Wow. But when you get when you beat Kingdom Hearts 2 and you see the ending, you're like, oh, cool, there's more to it. Kingdom Hearts 3. I know the game wasn't in development for, like, 10 plus you do, years. No, you... Are you are you completely retarded or like do you know what the bottle was like? I know. Shut up. Listen. We at the end of King Mars two, we knew there was more. We knew it was gonna be more, and then more fucking. Oh. I don't want. I don't know what the like more sequels came out that weren't a numbered sequel. It was like you know, like Dream Drop, Birth, Birth by, by Sleep, Sleep, all this other shit. Where's is fine. I enjoyed those, especially well, Birth by Sleep. Still my favorite Kingdom Hearts to this day. Important. But I know Kingdom Hearts 3 wasn't in development for like the past 20 some on years or 19 years or 10 years. I knew it had a shorter development cycle, like five years to maybe like four or whatever. It probably started development back in like fucking 2010, maybe? No, it's, only been, it's only been in development yeah, apparently yeah. for like five years, apparently. Like when, when they announced it, is like when it started. Yeah, but that was like a terrible, like little tech. 2013? Demo. Was it 2013? It was five years. Yeah. But my my point is yeah. like you you wait for you wait so long for this number sequel, three, yeah. and like it's like for me at least I mean I enjoyed it, like you said you enjoyed it, but I mean like so much of it was underwhelming. Toy Box was fine because it was Toy Story with his own little story. Persona Five is coming out in two thousand fourteen. Continue. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so like any any word you 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 got you went to that had his own little isolated story was fine. Any world you went to that had its movie plot, decent, but like, I I understand Disney's like, oh, you like our movies, so you have to see these movies. The Pirates of the Caribbean world was like the worst for me, because I didn't see all the movies, for one. I know that's not really a complaint, though. I can't really, like, well, knock the game you for can't, that. Yeah, you can't blame I can't knock the game for that. that. But when, like, 90% of that world is you shooting cannons at another fucking ship, that's so fucking boring and underwhelming. I just wanted to get over with. And they had a whole, like, port city that was, like, fine, that you could have done anything there. Yeah. Yeah, but that was a let now. It was... I was, like, all these, like, landed areas, and you're fucking battling ships. And then when you get to the final boss of the fucking level, you're fucking shooting cannons again. And I was like, this is, like, this world has been such a waste of fucking time. Let's not even talk about... Let's Earth's not world, even though. talking about... Talk about the last world, where you fucking have to go I save, like go this. get your friend's hearts back. What the fuck? fuck was that so and then be before we get to that before we get to that and then you get to the big hero six world which is fine big ass fucking map of san san francisco mm -hmm. is that you say francisco i can never say that shit right and then the last battle is against spoilers again the fucking baymax i got left in the other dimension and you're flying on top of baymax like it was the whole battle was like a gimmick and i fucking it was literally an on-rail shooter yeah it was it was fucking dumb and i was like i don't i don't want to fight like this in kingdom hearts and another issue I've had with Kingdom Hearts as of late is a lot of the combat is aerial instead of grounded. In Kingdom Hearts 1, you, like, you spent so much limited time in the air. In fucking 2, a little bit more. In like, Dream Drop Distance and all that shit, you're zip zop zoop a bopping in the fucking air. Fucking hey, remember, remember in Dream Drop Distance where it sucked? Continue. Hey man, that, <laughs> game, that game was still good. It, wasn't, it didn't suck. And then you fucking... And then like, Sora does this dumb shit in the air where he like does all these flips and whatever. Not that big of a deal. I still enjoyed it. And then you get to the last world, as, Jer as Jeremy was saying, you gotta chase the fucking Heartless to get those hearts back. Oh Underwhelming-ass battle. That was so the fucking stupid. fight. I did like how you went to fight, like, all the other organization members, and, uh, fucking Xion came out of nowhere, because he time-traveled or some shit like that. Was never explained. Same no, thing with, No, it was. Uh, she had a, there was a vessel. Yeah, there was a vessel, but they, like, never, they just said it. She was just there. Yeah, Zayn ordered a bunch of vessels. He had like, a bunch of vessels and not... he put their essence in it or whatever. Did you not pay attention? No, I like... did pay attention. I know that, but well, it wasn't really explained that well. You just said they were making, sh they were just like and then whatever. They did, they did mention about time travel and some weird bullshit. And vessels, time but, train but there were, drop he wasn't like the... introduced time traveling young Zayn or you dumb fuck. Yeah, like, I know that it was a. Then thing. what are you? Then what are you fucking? Oh, breaking shit up! Like what are you? Dumb? Not, I didn't say they're making shit up. I said that Shionis came out of nowhere. Sure, they didn't even mention her. They weren't like Zay, fucking Zemnis wasn't gonna... like Zemnis wasn't like 
oh yes, or Shion, welcome back. I put you in the vessel. <laughs> like it was like it was just her back, Roxas back, and then the the whole vessel thing and shit was made up for this game. No, so the Roxas thing, I feel like, was the main thing because I, I definitely caught the illusion of him coming back. But I understand what you're saying with Shion, kind of like being, hey. Here I am again. And I was like, "What? Like, what, I, I remember you, but why are you like? Why did you come I, back like I this?" I don't. Like, I don't remember. Well, I mean, <laughs> they were they were trying to find. Um, they wanted her back. Axel was talking about it, and then Axel was talking about what's his name with the blue hair. To, uh, so, uh, yeah, yeah. Excuse they me. Were, wait. Huh? Wait, wait, right? That's his name. Uh, nah, I'm gonna give a goddamn what? Ooh. Whatever. His, 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 his excellent Let's name. just call him Axel. That's what he is. Yeah. So they yeah. were all talking about it, and <laughs> you know they wanted to rescue her. Like I, I, I saw that 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 was a thing. I just didn't think that it was actually gonna be a thing. Like Roxas was like, okay, they they're trying to bring him back. They want to extract him from Source or whatever. But then Shion came back and was just like. I, I mean, if, if you weren't here, I wouldn't miss you. Like, you, you, yeah, know, you had your part of the I understand story. that they were talking about time travel and vessels and all this other shit, but Zem, like, no one straight up said, like, oh, oh, you know all those other fucking people you killed? Yeah, we put them in vessels. Like, no, that, she just came out of nowhere. I understand that it was a plot in the back of the in back of your mind, but it was But that's how all the other organization members came back. No, they chose to give up their hearts again to come back. They weren't all vessels. Because the, the one bitch, Lark, seems she said it. She said, I chose to become a nobody yeah. again. She actually said it. Anyway, oh, yeah. and then you get to the last fucking boss battle with fucking Xehanort. And it was actually pretty challenging, at least for me. Especially when you fight, like, the 13 versions of him, whatever. Yeah, and they're chasing was, you around. That shit was, like, oh my and god. And they fucking go up in the sky and yeah. do this fucking giant... Oh. Space sky laser thing. shit raining down. It, on ma- it made me kind of sad because uh, I forget the name of the world, like Ed Kylum, whatever. Like, the, like, Ed Kylum. like it. I thought there was gonna be more to it, and it was just like literally a world made for the last boss battle. <clears throat> yeah. And then you fight Xehanort himself, and he's doing pretty well against you, but of course it's more aerial combat because he's flying around everywhere. You gotta chase him, and then fucking, and then for some reason he just pushed you in the water. And you're stuck doing the same three-piece combo over and over again because all you do in the water is the same p- fucking combo because you can't change forms in the water. You can't do anything. You just hit, 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 spin Keyblade to do the fucking wa- whirlpool thing. And I was like, this is unneeded. This is fucking unneeded. And I told this to Jeremy. I'm not sure if I said anything to you guys. <laughs> but I was like, as soon as this game started and they're training fucking Kyrie, I was like, no matter how much training she's going to get, Zaynor is going to fuck her. Yeah. Zaynor is going to fuck her so hard. Spanked <laughs> 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 She's, he spanked her so hard with the, she fucking disappeared. I was waiting the whole game. She got she, deleted. When she first showed up, when she first showed up, I was expecting Zaynhort and fucking like Tara Zaynhort's body to walk up to her and punch her right in the fucking jaw. Brain hit the fucking uh, skull and her and just get knocked the fuck out. I knew that shit was going to happen. You could be in a world where time doesn't exist. I don't give a fuck. She got wrecked. Bro, they didn't do her any you're, favors training her in that kind of area. They needed to Matt, throw her in shit. Matt, you're getting flustered about the wrong thing the thing you should get flustered about is the fact that lingering will was there he was still there and then lingering will was still there and then you, you then no. you find out that fucking fucking uh terror was the fucking uh guardian was the guardian the, all he was along. the boom guardian the whole time Fuck was the, the what, lingering guardian? will the lingering no lingering no you don't even need, need to care about the lingering will because he shows up oh bye see you later we'll never hear from you again hey guardian now you're fucking back to being terror come guardian Stupid. And then I was like, wait, what? He was the whole time? And then he ripped off the bandage in the mouth. He's like, do it. Oh, you guys are talking. Okay. Right. Well, didn't, you, didn't you like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I... Didn't you like that part, though, where Ericus was just inside Terra the whole fucking time? Healthy. And he was like, let's die together. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then early. Like, and then the fucking ch- the Chirithi and the fucking, like, the final world, every time I it showed up, it was like, <laughs> 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 that shit was so weird. That shit was so dumb. That whole world, that whole segment of Sora getting his like himself back was dumb too. Oh, you know, if you would have actually stayed there and collected all three, yeah, I got three. I got the three hundred thirty-three. You'd get the extra health, health HP plus. That, that was really stupid. That was, that was so a waste of time. Dumb. Like, why is that a thing? Well, luckily there wasn't exactly three hundred thirty-three because that would have been fucking booty butt. Shit. It was like three thirteen or three. No, it was three thirty-three. But I mean, like. Good thing there wasn't oh, exactly there was a, 333 yeah, there was an, there was an excess, yeah. yeah. Let's be real, all right? There's only one part of that game that matters. And the best part of that game is in the Monsters, Inc. world, 
where fucking Sully grabs fucking Vanitas, chucks him through the fucking door. He throws door. him through the door, and then he put the door in another, another door, door, and then the door in another, another door, door, and then he <laughs> broke it. Broke it down. <laughs> the way he fucking picked him up. Oh, sorry. <laughs> the God way he picked yoded. him up and then just chucked him. He didn't just, like, he threw this boy, like, <laughs> so hard through the door. That shit was hilarious. And having, uh, what was his name, Haley Joe Osmond or whatever, like, having him voice multiple characters, and especially Vanitas, trying to act all evil and shit, it sounded off. And Sora, don't get me, Sora, fucking, oh. this dude is applying for Blue's Clues, because he's like, oh, jolly gee, guys, we're gonna go fight the Heartless. Sora makes Goku look like a fucking, yeah, like, badass fucking, motherfucker. I mean, at least in two and, like, one, he was, like, he had, like, he was a child, co- right? he was a ch- but he had, like, this cockiness, like, toughness to him. In this one, he's just like, oh, oh, like, oh. We're, we're half pints. We're three Thank half you. pints. <laughs> Let's do it. It's like, bro, aren't you yeah, at least still, 17 by now? Like, get your no, shit he's, together. He's still like, he's like 15 or whatever. In, in, in the Kingdom Hearts 3, he has to be at least like 17, 18. He's not. It was confirmed in an art book. It can't be, because when he starts, he's 14. Chain of, the, whole, the, whole, a... the whole journey okay. of Kingdom Hearts and Chain of Memories takes like I a think, year and a half. I think the events from 2 to 3 don't aren't that far off from each other. They're not. Fucking, it's a year? Yeah, but it was a year from... So, Kingdom Hearts 1 Chain of Memories was at least a year. And then he got. Like, and then he slept for a year. And then he slept like for a year. So he's, he's like, like 15 16, or 16. 16. No, he's like 15 or 16. Yeah, he's probably... He'd be 15 right by Chain of Memories. And then Kyrie's finally sleep like... for a year, he'll be at least... So he's at least 16. Like, this is, like this is coming from the... This is coming from the uh, the art book that just got released in Japan. And then Kyrie's finally like, mm. I want to I want to eat that dick, Sora. And he's like, cool, we got one more mission. And then after that, we can take care of it. <laughs> and then in the fucking... Insert the fucking Always no, Sunny no, 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 and Philadelphia shit. No, no, that's not what happened. Sora's more... It was more like, cool, let, we got one more mission, and then we'll go ask your par- your parents for permission, and I'll bring you back by 9 o'clock. I'll make, uh, I'll make sure to wipe my feet before I come in this house. Because <laughs> that's how much of a fucking boy scout he is in that game. I just there wanted him to one, say fuck once. Just there's say one thing that bothered me, is that when you beat each of the organization people, a cutscene... A cutscene happened, yeah. And, and the I'm like, still hey, alive, chilling. Yeah, 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 that's what I was this saying. This like, still here, ready to fight. <laughs> Just kind of standing there watching. I'm like, huh? It's like, should should we intervene? Can we save her? Can, can, no, like... no, no, no. Cutscene, man. We gotta, we gotta <laughs> chill. We gotta be off how screen. About the, Hold how about on. the fact that they gotta make all of them like somewhat redeemable and be, like gotta give you a reason to sympathize with them, like every single one of them. And then Lark seems still a bitch to the bitter end. Jeff, how do you how do you feel about Zayn or Master Zaynort not being a bad guy after all this time? That fucking that whole sequence with I know you asked him, but it was like him. Him and Erica sit there and they're like, oh, my old friend. I was like, are you, are you fucking kidding me? Like, <laughs> shut the... F- he literally tried to fuck everything in existence. So you're going to be like, oh, well, it's time for us to retire to the nether world. <laughs> <laughs> time to go to the final world. <laughs> I, don't, I don't understand. This. So, like, Namora clearly... Favors up, yes. some. He he clearly favors some worlds over others, right? Like Hercules is in almost every game. Now, yeah, but the Colosseum, though. No Coliseum, what I don't yeah. like about Hercules in this one is that it felt really. I I guess I get it. He wanted to tell the entire movie story. Okay, but you get to it and you try to talk to like Phil. He has no voice. Yeah. You know they 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 actually released an article about that and. The reason why Phil didn't have a voice is because uh, his Japanese voice actor actually just passed away when they're uh, recording, and oh. they didn't want to disrespect him by hiring someone new to like replace his voice. So they just uh. decided to keep him silent as a form of respect. That's respectable. I can wow. I can withdraw. Well, it, so it was weird like, though. You don't really do much of anything in that world. I mean, it was There's an no intro world, world, you know. Though. Although it did look nice. Yeah, what's look what's, what's so cool with that sorry. with that story of like. Sora need to find the power of waking. All right, where do I go for it? I don't know. Go go to these worlds. Go go, go find, a, find it. Go find a hero who lo- once lost his way. Like Hercules never lost his way. He was poisoned as a fucking infant, made like half human, and then like gained his godlyhood. And he was like, you know what? I, I don't need this godlyhood. I'm gonna stay here and fuck Meg. <laughs> the fucking game's weird, man. <laughs> like I don't know how you go from uh, from like two. To Birth by Sleep, which is the solid, the best in the series. And Dream Drop, which was, you know, it wasn't as good as Birth by Sleep, but it was good in its own way. I didn't you know what's sad about 3 2? 
it has one extra fucking hidden boss. Well, like the first one had Kurt Saiza, it had the Phantom, it had uh, like Sephiroth and all the other fucking oh, yeah, Coliseum yeah. monsters. And then the second one, you have the Coliseum when you can fight like all the Final Fantasy characters. Yep. And it was great. And then you can have all these other fucking hidden boss fights. Birth by Sleep, Lingering Will, and other fucking set fights. And this one is like what? The Inferno? You have one dude? fucking lame ass looking yeah. Heartless that you fight. That's it. At least in fucking Dream Drop Distance, you had Julius. Julius was a pretty good fight. I guess. That was, that was like... Who did Birth by Sleep have? Lingering Will and... Uh, no, that no, was two. No, had, but yeah, that was, was two. It had um, Young Xehanort. Time travel, motherfucker. Oh, yeah. It was before before he got shown off. Yeah, yeah they didn't show him off. He had the hood on, so you didn't know who it was. Mm. But yeah, you fought him. No, you, you, fight, uh, you fight Lingering Will in fucking Birth by Sleep. Do you? I thought, it was, yeah, yeah. I thought it was two final mix. Th no, you yeah, fight him. It is. It is in two final mix that you fight very well. It's in both. Like, interesting. Would yeah, I remember. I remember fighting. fighting the lingering will until the end. Of I mean, he Bird became Bird. no. He became the lingering will, like, because his body got taken at the end of Birth Actually, I I fucking I remember fighting him. It's really annoying. Yeah, he's apparently one of the the hardest bosses in the Kingdom Hearts. No, he was the first motherfucker to transform his Keyblade. Yeah, you know what's a you know what's a shame? You know what same Frollo wasn't in this. I want more Hunchback and Notre Dame. Frollo. Comes that would have been a good world to include. Yeah, but Frollo's just like I I'm back. Yeah, yeah, power too much French God. Renaissance. <laughs> I want to fuck that gypsy. <laughs> God damn. No. Can I have my scarf back? No. <laughs> uh, so so yeah. Uh, Fucking, did you guys? Well, I know Jeremy played Devil May Cry 5. Yeah, did you guys yeah. fucking play Resident Evil 2 remake? No? I, I, I'm I, the only one. I, I played it on the stream that one day for like an hour and a he half. He has not played it since. How'd, how'd that go? Yeah, terrifying. <laughs> I tell did you. I tell you about how that, like, what happened with him? Would okay. you want to play it in VR? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Boy, this, this man can't even fucking. Like, he ran to a liquor for the first time, and I was like, go to the stars room. Go into the stars room. He goes in the stars room. And I was and he's just like, is it gonna come in here? I was like, it's not gonna come in there. It will not go in there. You're fine. And then I was just like, all right, you have to go back out there because the only way out is the door to the left. And he was just like, I can't go out there. I'm not going out there. Not wait, yet. the I stars. Can't. Wait, the stars office. Yeah. <laughs> so I told him. I told him. I was like, you gotta go back out there. He's just like, I can't. I can't. He's like sat like for a good five minutes. We sat there, and Matt's just like, I can't go out there. I can't do it. I can't do this. Let me give you a little backstory. Uh, so while all that was happening, we had the lights off in this room. Uh, the ambience was heard. Uh, <laughs> my mind, I was I was scared. All right, this, I, I I imagine I was Leon and I was getting fucked. All right. Yeah, you were. And then he finally gets out there. He finally gets out there. I'm like, just go. As soon as you see it, go around it. Walk around it. Motherfucker freezes up in front of it and it walks right into him. Fucks him up. Good job. Good job. I lost a good knife that day. It is was a good knife. You lost several good knives. You lost a lot of bullets too. Yeah. Did you? Yeah. What's up? Did you? Cut now. Yeah, Discord's better. I mean, have you? Have we had that issue? Have we had any serious issues? I mean, we're, to we're, we're we're all wired though. We're wired on our end before we weren't wired, so it could have been a, both our issues. <laughs> you back yet, Jeff? No, he's dying. Cause like when we were on Facebook, it was like, eh, 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 like every five minutes. Yeah. Jeffy there. These things are great. These little like power things. You Can't. plug them in, and then you uh, put all these Ethernets in it. It's great. Uh, oh, there we go. Uh, that, that, there uh, we go. There uh, you are. Uh, 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 all right, what were you saying, Jeff? Man, it's cringy. You didn't run every five minutes. Mister X will find you and tell you to put in an Ethernet cable. <laughs> Don't don't play your games wirelessly. <laughs> stop don't using use, the microwave. It blew me off the Wi-Fi again. He's like, stop using Wi-Fi. So you didn't run into Mr. X at all. Like. I only he played didn't, up to the part. Get that far. I only played up to the point where like yeah. Wow, what a the, what a fucking. I, I was really hoping he would get to Mr. X, but he didn't get that far. I, I can't wait to. for your kid to get older and just like dad stop being a pussy. Like what are you doing? I'm gonna like son stop being homeless. I'm gonna kick him out. Cause it would have been great. Cause it's, like Matt, like I can see it now. He'd freaking run to Mr. X, somehow run away from him, get punched a few times, <clears throat> get back to the main hall, and then be like, "This motherfucker's still following me." Yeah, he follows you. I kind of wish what's his face still alive. That black dude, what's his name? 
uh, uh, uh Mercutio. I forgot no. already. Damn, you forgot. I don't, I haven't Did the played. Lieutenant Black do whatever who's who was helping you in the beginning? I and I haven't really played it since. Like, you bring Mr. X all the way back there and he's, like, still alive. He's like, Leon, welcome back. Oh, He was not <laughs> still alive by the time. No, I meant, like, back. if he was still alive. That's why I said I wish he was still alive at that point. You just, like, walk back to the main hall when Mr. X is chasing you. <laughs> he's like, Leon, welcome back. Marvin. Uh -huh. Marvin. Marvin, yeah, there you go. Lieutenant Marvin Branagh. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. Go on, Jeff. I don't know. I don't get it. Oh. Well, seeing as how you brought up Devil May Cry, I'm going to talk about Devil May Cry. Man, that game. That game. Sucks. Yeah, it's the worst piece of shit ever. Capcom. Uh, yeah, Cap Capcom is a fucking, more like Cat Cashcom or Cat crack Crackcom. No, now we can't say that anymore. Now we got to say Cap God. Yeah, they, they're back to Cap God status because Devil May Cry 5 is the best in the series. The best. Better than 3. Hands down. You're I'm gonna be honest. Either? You you guys had me going when you were calling it crap. I was like, I don't I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was that was uh, that was the joke. But no, this game fucking Hideaki Itsuno, When he first showed off this game, he said, "I this is a game that I'm extremely like proud of and confident in. Will exceed all your expectations." And literally, it has done just that. That game exceeded all my fucking expectations. It's that good. Like, yeah, make, but the. But it's too anime for me. How can I enjoy the end? How can I enjoy the story if it can't take it seriously? Oh my god! Yeah. Well, if you have Johnny on Bosch as a voice actor, it's always gonna get a little anime. You know what's funny is like I was watching a bunch of like I got bored at work one day and I was watching a bunch of like streamers who streamed Devil May Cry Five and their reactions to specific scenes in the game. And so like one of the biggest ones was obviously the when when uh, Dante gets Doctor Faust the Doctor Faust hat. And does that whole Michael Jackson routine where he starts dancing around. And fucking, all these, like, you get, like, you, you could tell who's, like, who's a Devil May Cry fan and who's just playing the game. Because, like, all, oh. the people, who, you get, all the people just playing the game, they're just like, what is this? And they're cringing and they're just sitting there with their hands in their head. They're just like, what is this? What is happening? This is ridiculous. Well, look at this fucking gay cowboy. And then, and then <laughs> the people who play Devil May Cry are just like, yeah. 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 Do you like, think any of them? Touch a crotch. Yeah. Jer <laughs> Jeremy, do you think any of them leaned back in their chair when they saw the cowboy thing? They're like, looks like Tamim was right. Dante <laughs> would have left out of a Japanese bar in Akihabara. This is why <laughs> DMC was better. <laughs> there was there was some people who said that. There were, but like I like DMC too. Like I like that game. We've we've gone but, over that quite a bit, but yeah. you know, Devil May Cry too just had that crown had that crown line. And he yeah, shot the guy out. He shot Nobunaga <laughs> was, in the head. I was, dude, rewatching that that moment, just the way the dude talks, he just like extends. Yeah, his don't eyes. you like that? He's just like, no! <laughs> <laughs> I'm not supposed to be <laughs> That's literally King. how that dude talked in the King, Cry here's too. your crown, and then Dante shoots him through. Like, he, was, he acted like such a little kid. He's like, no! What? You know. <laughs> You know what's you know what's good about Devil May Cry 2 5 came Nothing. out so continue. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. But uh so Devil May Cry 5 came out last week and I And I got it. the I got the limited edition. Yeah, I didn't cuz Amazon fucked me, but whatever. Mm. Um I got the I still got the deluxe edition so it was whatever. I I got it digitally. So the game like was sorry. I keep knocking that out of your ear. The game <laughs> Digitally released for me at uh, nine o'clock that Thursday night last week, and I shit you not, Jeff. Nine o'clock on the fucking dot. I played. Why, put it up. Why do you think I doubt? I'm doubting you. I'm not. How dare you? How dare you not doubt it? Nine o'clock have... on the dot. I booted the game up, played it all the way through for about ten hours. The game. Took I know. Me, it took, I me have... about, took me about ten hours to get through. Your uh, your wife. Told me just how much you were playing, like oh, like bro. nine a.m., nine a. six to nine, I think she it said. Was nine in the morning to about nine in no nine at night to nine in the morning. I you spent. uh yeah, but you don't have the little van like okay. I do. Fuck that. Yeah. I mean, I want it. I wanted it for the it's van. It's pretty. It's pretty cool. I gotta and the, say, the bumper I'm... sticker and the, the poster. Yeah. yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I bet it is. I didn't get it because <laughs> Amazon. A lot of people, a lot of people got fucked over with that though. So that game, like the demo, I, when I played the demo, 
there were a lot of things that I want that like gameplay wise that came that, that surprised me that they changed they changed a few things like one the game feels heavier a little bit heavier like with the way characters move and shit because like now you can do like, it's so much more open you can do so many more things like for example fucking if you're Nero running and revving your sword you can run and run and fucking reload your 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 blue rose well that's a whole new thing the whole reloading and shooting the charge shots reloading it's pretty cool, actually. But like, Taking a knee. now the characters, like, for example, like, I noticed it with the demo, and now you see it more in the actual full game. Like, when you're locked on and you dodge, you like, they have specific animations. Like, if they're not being attacked, they'll do the, the, the obvious role, the role that they have always had. But if they are being attacked, they'll do a different animation, like, like a sidestep or something like that. Like, uh, like, they actually took the time to animate different animations for them moving out of the way of an attack. And I thought that was really cool. Like, that shit... It's shit like... Little shit like that. Or even adding things like an air taunt. Every character has an air taunt now. And a lot of them are useful. Specifically Nero's. <laughs> Fucking jump up in the air and riding high! And you can... you If you time up the time to exceed, you can get, like, either one level of exceed. Or if you got an axe act, then you got that timing down, you can get fucking max act. And, then and that you, shit's great. And then you look at games that like Marvel 3 and Infinite, where everyone shares the same damage animations, the same bouncing animations. And then you got fucking different, two different fucking animations for dodging and fucking Devil May Cry. And like, whatever, just keep going, Street Fighter. <laughs> Marvel team, stupid. But like, it's just. Nero, like, obviously, if you've seen with the story in all the videos, he doesn't have the Devil Bringer anymore, because, spoilers. Virgil's kind of an asshole. Um, I'm gonna take this thing. I'm gonna take my arm back or my hand, my sword back. Whoopsies. Anyway, uh, now he has like the whole fucking devil breaker, and they introduced this devil breaker system, which is it. It works really well because uh, you get these robotic arms. There's eight different devil breakers. It's essentially styles. It's Nero's style. Sort of. Essentially. There's yeah, they're they're pretty much styles. Where they they pretty much things. are because like you can f it's. The only downside is you, unlike Dante's stuff, you can't manually change him, which I, I really hate. But I see why you can't because of the the ending. Why use the D-pad? Because I figured you could just put it on there. True. No. True. Oh. Unless you got the pasta breaker. What the, the fuck is the? Po I didn't use that. Does it that allows you the pasta breaker allows you to switch. Uh, oh, it breakers. does. Yeah, you can use it to switch breakers. That is so fucking stupid. Fucking hate that. Thing. Yeah, that's the only thing it's good for is switching all between all different breakers. But there's not. Did counting... you? By the way, before you go on, did you use Sweet Surrender? I did. Now, do you like just standing there and letting it go to town? <laughs> As like... it just vibrates, it's like. I'm like, oh my god, this is so embarrassing. Like, oh, I don't want demons to see me with this thing. This it's just a massage arm. That's all it is. So, yes, massage. Everyone that's keeps literally, saying, everyone that's keeps literally saying massage. Like when that, they first showed it off, people tried. To you know, sit here dildos and be like, also say not for eternal use. But guess what? People do. When it they for first, it. when they first showed it, people were just like, oh, it's, it's a fucking dildo. He uses it to shove it up her pussy. But it's just like, it's just, <laughs> <laughs> it's just a fucking massage arm that he uses to massage your back. Uh -huh. That's literally what it is. Mm -hmm. Vagina. Sure. Anyway, <laughs> you get not counting the pre-order uh, breakers. There's eight breakers, and uh, they all have different uses, different functions, functions, uh, stuff like overture. It's based off of fucking blitz from Devil May Cry 4. And but, well, speaking of which, Jeff, did you read the prequel novel? No, I did not. Oh, you should have read it. I read the whole thing. Uh, well, I, I did that for Spider-Man. I didn't want to do it again. Well, the prequel novel for this was actually interesting. Um, I don't know about the Spider-Man one, but... Um, you mean how Dante, like, sells the fucking devil arms? Yeah. So, fun fact. Fucking Overture, the electric breaker that shoots, like, that does the big electric palm, is based off of Blitz from Devil May Cry 4. The enemy, the electric fucking enemy. That I mean, it makes sense. Because fucking Nico said she got shown her dad's notes, so it makes sense why. Uh... Yeah, that happens in the prequel. That's like literally what the prequel novel is all about. Is um, <clears throat> Nico is looking for, is is trying to go to Fortuna because she wants to find her dad's like shit, her his research, or anything to do with the order of the sword from Devil May Cry Four. So 
she gets she gets the Fortuna and she comes across fucking Nero and Kyrie and she just kind of like stays with them, hangs out with them. And Nero's just like, oh, I'll fucking take you to the old order uh, headquarters. Maybe we could find something. And they find some shit. And she sees Nero fighting Blitz. And she's just like, she's just like, I could do something with this. Well, that happened after he lost his arm. After he loses his arm, he fucking, she's like, she sees him fighting Blitz. And she's just like, I can use this. And she uses, she uses whatever, like, information and notes that she takes down to make a fucking devil breaker based off of this electric motherfucker. Which, by the way, I hate that enemy. Blitz can suck a dick. I hate him. Um, but either way, all the devil breakers are interesting in their own way. They have their own different styles, do different things, different attacks. Uh, stuff like, stuff ranging from just a big ol' electric palm to a fucking rocket arm that you can ride. Uh, yeah, dumb. Yeah, you know. Well, stick of style. It's cool though. Dumb. It's fucking cool. Dumb. You know what else is cool? Fucking tomboy, the breaker tomboy, where it allows you it push your fucking <coughs> it overclocks the fuck out of his uh his uh, red queen sword, and like he just swings it. He just goes off, swinging the sword like crazy, because it's overclocked and it's just like the, it, it's always constantly max acted. Exceed whatever you want to call it. It's pretty cool. But No May Cry 5, not just, you don't have just Nero playable or Dante playable. Now you got that new character, fucking V. Adam Driver? Yeah, you know, Kylo Ren, not Virgil. <laughs> I don't know, like, why does he look like, like he looks like? <laughs> yeah, he does actually. Well, if you, have you ever looked at the, the, uh, the model? The guy they used? I don't know, I haven't. <laughs> he looks exactly like him. Like That's so they, weird. Like, like, what? <laughs> the model for for V is so fucking... <laughs> Wait oh, the are fuck we, up! Are we, uh, are we done? <laughs> no. God, the, the model for V is so fucking... Like, they, the, the in-game the character looks exactly like him. It's one-to-one. -one. I'll make this quick since, you know, we, we should move on. But yeah, V's a playable character, he has fucking demon familiars, Griffin, Shadow, Nightmare. If those all sound familiar to you, yes, they're Devil May Cry 1 references. They're all enemies from fucking Devil May Cry 1. Wow, I mean, it's almost one. like you should have played this before. Yeah, I know. Uh, which this game, this game is fucking full of Devil May Cry references from past games. Especially Devil May Cry 1. Uh, but yeah, he has all his little demon familiars that fight for him. He can't fight himself. He can only finish off demons. And they do all sorts of cool shit. Shadow's the fucking best. I love him. He's great. He's a good cat. Um, yeah, I like Shadow too. Especially when he got to use guns in his own game. That <laughs> should have been a, a sequel to that. Where he used guns and collected uh, watermelon slices. And rides his fucking motorcycle. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Um... And then you got Dante, obviously, same shit, his different styles, like a trickster, rail guard, gunslinger, swordmaster, and you get, you have, the new thing for this game is you have access to all your weapons in this game. I mean, there's only like fucking, he only has four devil arms, uh, well, technically, he has, uh, seven, technically, right? Six. He has six, technically. You keep throwing all the numbers out, you'll find the right one sooner or later. <laughs> six, actually. Because you get Rebellion, you get fucking Sparta, and then you get fucking spoiler, we're going to spoilers again. Fucking Devil Swords, Dante, it's named after him for whatever reason, because it's his sword. Um, and you get Balrog, it Balrog's is. super fucking cool. The gauntlets, and the, uh, the, the, the kicky things. Um, the motorcycle cavalier. Fucking Cavalier, the motorcycle, which is, it's okay. I'm not a big fan of Cavalier. I, maybe it's because I haven't learned to use it all that well. And then one of my favorite Cerberus. Cerberus is fucking back. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, he literally just sits there and he's like, whoa, 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 doing his Bruce Lee shit. Um, and you know, you, you get your Devil Trigger for Dante, and then you get some muscle later. And then, uh, I mean, that's it for the characters. But like, the story is for the most part. It's a better story than four. That's for sure. It's even I would say it's better than three. Whoa, whoa. Well, yeah. Go on. I, I like four, what you're saying. Four story was shit. I'm sorry for anyone out there who. You disagrees. like, but you like the Spurs though. I don't. 
I don't like any of it. I have issues with 4. Has Jeremy ever told you guys that he loves Dante's design from 4? He loves the cowboy stuff? I hate his, I hate his design in 4. How can you like Dr. Faust then? Oh, because he's a great cowboy. Oh, okay. I mean, he's so, got a, he's got, four, it's four different, was, it's a, it's a hat and a, same, same it, director, but oh, I don't like it there. It's a hat and a scarf, it's different. It's not Why fucking it? chaps and fucking Fast. spurs and shit. <laughs> the spurs are amazing. It's so stupid, it was so dumb. The only thing that I liked about that outfit was the top half. But whatever. Dude, I like, I like Kamiya's breakdown. His breakdown? What does that mean? Jeff? That's great. Okay, never mind. So, but yeah, a lot of bosses in this game. Almost every stage in this game has a fucking boss. Uh, literally from mission, actually from the prologue, all the way through. Uh, save for maybe like three missions. Yeah, every... that's crazy. They started doing like bosses at the end of the levels, like back in Mega Man. And it should move my mind. I feel like I'm in a uh, change of command right now. He's like, I know it's hot out here, and you guys are standing in the flight line. I'm gonna make. I know. I'm trying to make it quick. I'm trying I'm to make trying it. To make it short there's just <laughs> <there's laughs> things. There's <laughs> things Richard I wanted to out. cover. <laughs> <laughs> there's things I wanted to cover. Whatever. I'll end it there. All right. Don't make Cry Five. It's a great fucking game. It's the best in the series. Go out there. Go fucking play. If you haven't played the other Don't Make Cry games, go play them, including two. I don't give a fuck. Play two. You should have to experience it. It's an experience. It's a bad experience, but it's an experience. This man's you like, feel. I experienced it. You have to experience it now. Pretty much, play two, regardless of how <sighs> bad it is. You have to experience it. Uh, so excuse me. And then play five. Five is the best fucking game in the series. Go play it. A lot of Devil May Cry references. Is, 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 Richard, what you been up to, bro? Yeah. What you been up to, man? So as far as single player experiences, I played World of Final Fantasy, which I don't recommend to anybody. You know, it's one of those cheeky childish stories with a wannabe Pokemon meets traditional RPG play style. So it's not for you man. It's not for me and I've been hating my life. The story the story gets pretty good. That's what he says, but I'll never find out. <laughs> um and it's, so that's that's what I've been spending the majority of my time on. Uh, actually, um so I uh, I <laughs> okay, that's uh, that's that back Dying. Um, there's this game called the Caligula Effect. Anybody heard of that? I have. No. Okay, have so heard. it initially released on the Vita. It just had a release on the P PlayStation, the PS4, uh, last week. Uh, if you are um, into high school RPG, social interaction. I am. Um, that would be that would be a game for you, uh, especially if you're one of the newer JRPG fans who like things akin to Persona Five. This would be right up your alley. Is it is it a turn based like turn based? It's game? it's weird how the yes ish. It, it's got like this predictive system where you input what you want to do and you see what the action is like what should happen. But you know, not everything goes to plan always. It's 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 kind of hard to, to describe without like visually seeing it. But you you have like uh, almost a, like an AP gauge of like what you can do in a turn. So after you pick what you want to do, you do that command, and it shows what might happen, like what where the enemies might go or how they'll attack, yeah. and you can do that like up to three or four times. It, it's inter it's an interesting take, but um. Um, it's not like I'm over here, they're over there. It's like a little battlefield, um, like a circular battlefield. So, um, it's okay. different. But that—that's what I'll be getting into after I finish World of Final Fantasy. Okay. Um, You're actually gonna finish it? Well, yeah. Well, I, that's—that's that's the thing. Like, did you buy it, for? Did you buy the Switch version? Or did you buy the no, version? it was the PS4 version. Did you get the DLC with it? The, the Maxima. Yeah, Ultimate no. Maxima. Version. No. Um, so that—that's—that's that's that. Um, mm -hmm. I, I picked up Andromeda again, and I regret that. A Mass Effect? Yeah. Why? Why'd you pick it up again? Because it was like five bucks, and I was like, I started. You it. Bought it. Wait, wait, you I, had it before? I had it before. I had it when it released. Oh. You and then sold. I sold it after <laughs> like thirty minutes at Matt's old apartment, and I picked it up again because I was like, I, I, you know, I might as well like try and get something out of it, but I regret it. I, that is a game I will not be finished. 
<laughs> um, so that's that's the single player experience I've been going through. Uh, Fortnite is officially garbage, still leading the streaming charts, but nobody really wants to play or talk about it anymore. Um, I I still enjoy the game. It's just the I know I know it's like the core part of the game, the building, but like I just can't stand it anymore. Like the, the building battles just get annoying. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Like when we played together, this, I think the last time we played, would we there when we played last time? Or was it just me? Probably. It was, it was, me, it was me, you, and Emma. Yeah, because yeah. remember we did the uh, we we did the team rumble. Oh, the team rumble. You could die. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna be, yeah, I'm gonna yeah, be honest yeah. with y'all. Like when shit happens, and I've been doing this for a while now, and like I feel kind of bad, but like like I know I suck at the game in general. And I, I'm usually prone to dying, but like when people build, when I start shooting at someone and they start building, I just stop caring, and that's when I usually go down. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. Like, I mean that's that's. I, I really don't feel like getting into it. Like, even when I have like maxed out like materials, once once you start building, I'm like I don't want to get into this, and I, that's when I die. Damn, you let you let. You I want to be honest with y'all. Like that's down. like that's I can't stand it. Like you, the building. You're not part. letting me down because I understand. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it, 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 it gets boring after. It. Like I understand. Like there's certain people out there who is like, oh yeah, the challenge, whatever. I like it. The building thing, ball ninja, whoever else to fucking play shroud and all these other fucking people. Shroud, that's really Fortnite. Yeah, whoever not plays anymore. fucking Fortnite or. But, like, it's, I'll build a few stairs, maybe, see if I can get up to the same level as them, but, like, once you start doing the whole thing, and... I don't know, the, fir I don't know, the first time a motherfucker broke my wall down, built his own, and edited it, it, and shot, shot me. You. Yeah. I remember the first time that shit happened, I was like, I'm done. Like, this is it. <laughs> These motherfuckers just build around you. Yeah. And then, like, the one that always gets me is when they build around you, and then they fucking trap you. Yeah. Yeah, they'll, that, they'll, like they'll just sit there and like they don't even like they could kill you if they wanted to like, just by shooting you, but they choose to do something better by just building around you, building you, trapping you inside, and then literally placing. I mean, a trap that, that's like you. you know, Street Fighter, Dragon Ball Fighters, where they don't have to hit you with their super, but they oh, choose to you know waste your time. And... It's because they 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 want to sit here and be like, yeah, see that I outplayed you, I'm better than you. Yeah. But no, I, I, I agree with Matt, with what Matt's saying, especially that there's a strong need for skill-based matchmaking in that game to even out the playing field so people can, you know, not feel immediately intimidated by running into... And I'm pretty sure there's a close-knit, like, just like a small group of people who are exceedingly getting bigger who are adopting to keyboard and mouse on the PS4. Yeah, but they, they get put in lobbies. There, there was a whole thing about oh, that. Oh, there's thing. a whole, like, there, Yeah, like, they, they, they get put in the PC lobbies. Oh, okay. Hmm. I didn't know that. Yeah, so people who we play with are legitimately playing with the controller. Um, These fuckers are building crazy aside? with controller. Yeah, it's, it's ridiculous. Unless they're using that half controller, half mouse monstrosity thing that they released. Yeah, I knew somebody that used it. He would sit there with the mouse right here and have the controller with the analog just running around. Mm. Crazy. So, but aside from that... Um, as far as all other multiplayer experiences, I wouldn't say if there's anything that I've been looking forward to. Uh, Anthem was a letdown, which I knew it would be. The Division uh, 2 isn't worth my time because I played the first one and it literally looks like Destiny and Destiny 2. Like a few minor upgrades, but nothing that I would pay a whole nother $60 for. Um, but hey... There's probably going to be Borderlands 3 coming out sometime soon. Well, not soon, but they're going to announce it at some point. Because they've been teasing something Borderlands related. Yeah, well... We'll if you like see, Borderlands. We'll see. I, I mean, I played the first two. I hated the pre-sequel. <clears throat> but... More mm. like meme land. Yeah, funny. <laughs> no, fuck not. Randy Pitchford. Hey, man, I like Borderlands. Yeah, fuck Randy Pitchford. Yeah, we know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but go on. Uh, what else? There's, there's really, I don't know. I don't really enjoy playing anything else. That's... So I've been on. Uh, I've been on a hunt to. Uh, For cut. Yeah, that too. <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> you've been playing. You've been playing Detroit. No, no, not even close. Uh, <laughs> Detroit. Well, I really love I've, Detroit. I've been playing a lot of a lot of Smash Ultimate, Shenmue. just like last time. But uh. Wow. I'm on a I'm on the journey to get multiple characters into a least smash, even though that's not much of a feat. Wait, journey? Rio from Shenmue was on a journey. Stop it. Anyway, and then uh, I recently just got <laughs> I recently just got Bowser and Ganondorf in my elite, and I'm working on Wolf. I was right there last night, and then I got my ass beat. Suck. And uh, 
I haven't been really playing much. Is it Smash Brothers and Tetris 99? Ooh, talk about Tetris 99. Because Tetris 99 is addicting. Tetris 99 is just yeah. Tetris. I do, I do have a, before you do go on, I have a funny story about Ultimate. Go on. I was over at my uncle's house. They, uh, they popped, they had a Switch, right? And like, I brought my Switch, good thing. But my cousins popped an Ultimate on his Switch. And I'm, I looked at my uncle and I'm like, do you want to, are you, are you ready to unlock 70 something characters? He's like, what? <laughs> and then it, it starts up, and you know it's only what the eight mm-hmm. or what the eight initial. And he he's looking at me like, "Are you fucking serious?" I'm like, yeah, "I'm like, good thing I good thing I have them all unlocked." Yeah, it's amazing how like uh, the mentality has changed throughout the years, where like we looked forward to unlocking multiple characters, and now. But to that's, be fair, I mean, it was like a small. Like, it was a small. Yeah, yeah, the stuff, made, let me finish. It was a small like number of characters like with the first match yeah. was only an extra four, four with yeah. melee was like maybe like ten, like 10 i think or me too game watch i think it was like yeah. like, maybe like six or six yeah and then in brawl you had like you unlock maybe like 12 or something and but then, to unlock the whole yeah to unlock, to unlock like literally like 60 plus characters like that's a little excessive it's funny that you say because that, that mentality hasn't really changed because there i see people all the time they're just like what happened to the days where you had to unlock characters and it's like you look at Smash Ultimate, and like I did that too on Switch, and I was just like, never again. <laughs> like like if, that was if, a if fucking. You, if you had it so that you know you unlocked um, maybe all the DLC characters from you know Smash Four or mm-hmm. the Echo Fighters, you know something reasonable, not like everyone that hasn't been there since Smash Sixty Four. Like, but God. to be fair, they also streamlined it because. Melee, like you had to fight like 500 like versus battles to get like game to watch. Oh yeah, and like yeah, to yeah. get Mewtwo, you had to play like over like 24 hours or some shit like that collectively or some stupid shit like that. So they were just like, just play the game, you play the single player story mode, yeah, and you unlock yeah, them, or yeah. play so many matches in, uh, in versus mode, and every other match you'll get like an unlock. Yeah. Or you can just cheese it like we did and just reset the game. Yeah, the but it was like 70 plus characters, type, like. Well, not 70, but like 60-something plus characters that you have to unlock. And it's like, it, it became tedious after all. I mean, yeah, it's tedious, good. but I mean, it, it gives you something to work towards for the most part. I, Sakurai, for yes. some reason, is on his whole, like, give him more, like, single-player content, even though we're not really asking for it. So that's space emissary was cool and all, but, like, it was one of the faster ways to unlock all the characters in Brawl, but it was also an eight-hour, like, journey, so... You I can, mean, but you, you look at World of Light and... World of Life's trash. Sorry. Yeah, like what was 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 that necessary? You get you get you did the same story. You get one cutscene in the beginning, and then you get two other cutscenes depending on like the ending. That the you ending get. that you choose or you work towards. Like if, if you defeat Darkron before you defeat Galim, then the world gets sucked in the light. If you defeat Galim, then Darkron covers the world in darkness, and then you gotta fight him and Galim at the same fucking time. Wait, wait, wait. You mean the new Kirby game? Yeah. Yeah, essentially. Uh, Kirby uh, Nightmare okay. and Smash. Nightmares. <laughs> but anyway, past Smash, uh, I've been playing Tetris 99, and it's the game no one thought they fucking wanted until it fucking came out. Tetris Battle Royale. It's it's got it a little different for me now that I know like what the attacking thing means, what the whole KOs and badges and random. Well, I don't do random because that's dumb. I I the first game I won and the only game I won so far. I was playing. It was me and one of the guy, and we were going. We weren't even going back and forth. We were just playing the game for a good ten minutes before we realized we weren't targeting each other. And then I targeted him, and then he just fucking died immediately. And I was like, <laughs> "Oh my god!" <laughs> all while my son was like climbing all over me, and my mom was on the phone talking to me. I was like, "Mom, I'm playing Tetris, and I'm again pretty far. <laughs> Shut the fuck up." But uh, I fucking love Tetris. I really hope they start adding shit to it. Or yeah, I kind of, I kind of wish they'll just add like a like a marathon mode. Like, or an endless marathon mode, so you can just practice. Because, like, I have Poyo Tetris on my Switch, I just don't feel like switching between games just to practice, because I've been getting, like, T-spins and shit down lately. But I would like to practice it more, but you can't really practice it when 99 other people, or 98 other people are fucking gunning for your fucking life. So it's a little hard. So if you just don't do Tetris, you can't just slap the pieces down, like, immediately and get those Tetrises or T-spins and shit like that, don't fucking play the game, because you're going to get fucking wrecked. 
And fun fact, I watched this uh, one streamer, forget his name, I'm not gonna even drop it anyway because it'll be kind of a dick thing to do. And this motherfucker, we were, we were all in the chat trying to give him like little hints and shit to improve his game, and he called the Tetris community toxic. And I was like, I didn't even know Tetris had a community. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, second, I was like, like, how can you get toxic in a game based off of blocks? Like, I just, I don't Bro, the Texas, uh, Texas. Texas. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 Texas <laughs> <laughs> the Tetris community, like, it's been there, and it's been, like, they cut, they always pop out. It's like, they're like in the bushes. And every time they're like, hey, new Tetris game, they pop out the bushes, like, yeah. So like, where? <laughs> so like, they're around and they're doing their thing. So I mean, the community's there. I, I mean, the, I always knew the community was there. I mean, but I guess this is their time to shine for those motherfuckers who are getting T-spin and shit, no problem. These motherfuckers are like dominating online right now. Because you get more, you get more, you send more garbage and shit over to the your opponents when you T-spin, especially if you like triple T-spin or quadruple T-spin and shit. Yeah, this is shit's insane. And but the setup has to be so particular that it's fucking. I can only do a double T-spin. And like I struggle with that. Like sometimes I'll be like, eh, uh, uh, like there we go. Ooh, like. I saw someone set up one that was like quadruple. So it was like T spin, boom, and, boom, and it fits. Boom. It has to fit just right. So it goes doop, 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 and then it fucking does it. And it sends so much fucking garbage over. But people, motherfuckers, just set that shit up like no, no problem. And I'm like, every time I do it, I have like a brain fart. My eyes cross a little bit, <laughs> and like, I have to really think about it. I start sweating <laughs> a little bit. And I think you just gotta like practice like a specific setup and just like work with, with the blocks that you got and just set it up as best you can like each time but i mean it's a fun game that and tetris 99 def uh tetris 99 and tetris effect definitely my two favorite games within a few months of each other so they'll, they'll, those would be your single player multiplayer experiences yeah pretty much effect for the single one. it's funny that you say that because i forgot to mention my multiplayer experience oh, single yeah. player is obviously don't make right obviously but, uh, uh, the, Jesus, the past week, two weeks actually, I'm playing a lot of- Can you stop? You did talk about your single player experience, you talked about, uh, Devil Strikes Back. I'm you not talk about, talking I mean, about- Oh, yeah, yeah, just multiplayer. Multiplayer? Devil May Cry is multiplayer, what are you talking about? Their Life 6 came out, and I've been playing that, a lot of Their Life 6 that online. That memory hit you real hard. What? Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> I was playing a lot of Their Life 6 and ranked. Uh, made up to the C ranks, which is it like is kind of high, but not that high. It's kind of a big deal. It's okay, not that, it's not really it's the, okay. It's the gold of the street fighter. C world. is an average in school. Yeah, I would say C <laughs> is probably the gold of Dead or Alive. But like people in rank, like in the earlier ranks, even like in like the later ones, like they're kind of kind of trash. Like I haven't even played this game that I'm not even that good at this game. But uh, it's a lot of fun playing the ranks. No lobbies. It sucks. Fucking stupid. They'll add it sooner or later. They are gonna add it. They said they're Along gonna add it. Along with their $99 fucking... Well, their first one's already out, that $93 season pass. Yeah. But, um... Bad, bad business practice in 2019. It's whatever. It's there for the people who are gonna buy it. I'm Motherfuckers buy it. got money for it. I'm not gonna buy it. But, um... I don't know. It's, it's a lot of fun. It's, uh, playing them ranked. Like, despite the, the whole the whole nonsense with the, the money and the season passes and all the outfits, like, the game, at the core... The game, play, like everything about it, it's a lot of fun and I enjoy it. Those bitches look, pretty, uh, look pretty hot in their little happy wedding dresses. Yeah, they do. They core, core fighters. It's a shame the characters that I play don't have a wedding dress. Fucking feel a little, little yarkity. And here. as time of recording this podcast, I believe that are alive. Six is free editions already out. Yeah, the, the core fighters edition came out. Oh, really? Yeah, so you can get it for free. It comes with four oh. characters, so you can get plays. Speaking of free editions, Final Fantasy NT uh, also it's has India. its free edition <laughs> that came and I out. I will not touch it. Who yeah. cares? Because so. it's not like the older ones. No, no. It's not I, like, I had this it's conversation not like the Cydia Duo Destin or the first Cydia. It just doesn't feel but good. But I, I bought it, though. Did you buy it, you fucking fool? I bought it when it came out. I got the steel book. Have yeah, I got it? the steel book, too. <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> no! But yeah, that was, that was my little the story online. is pitiful. The gameplay is atrocious. It's not fun. It's not a fun. Hey, that's game. why you should get Onimusha that got ported. Hey, to you the like PS1. you like unlocking story by having to like get these crystals or whatever. Stupid. You don't unlock story by Stupid completing one premise. stage to the next. The crystals back. That's so fucking stupid. I can't believe well, they put that in what, there. What, you're, you're saying Final Fantasy IX stupid when they said get no, the crystals back? No, 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 back? no. In Dissidia NT. The crystals, no, the crystals back. You Jeff, don't like Final Fantasy IX. Please. 
Also, the free edition doesn't come with the story and it has the randomly unlocked four players which switch akin to Dead or Alive 5. So the like... Free edition that. It's like Square puts a gun to your head. Play the ski. Play NT. Puts a gun in your puts a gun in your head, loads a fucking round into the chamber, and he's like, "Hey, play the fucking game." Yeah, that was that's that was my only experience. That's it. That's it it's been me. like a year since that game came out the city, right? Yeah, it, yeah, it came yeah. out last year. Bad. That didn't take long. Like, but I then again, Dead or Alive's got a free edition. It's been out. It's, it's only been out. been out for like two weeks. But that's kind of their business model, you know, ever since five. Save well, your money by not buying the game. Well, here's buy the thing. The, buy the outfits. <laughs> Five, they came out with the game, right? And they had their, like, little first season of it. Then they came out with um, Ultimate, Dead or Alive 5 Ultimate. Oh, yeah, or last was the round? Second version. No, last round was, last round was the last, last the third one. version. Um, but the second version was versions? Ultimate. Yeah. yeah, there were three versions. Hmm. Um, and they came out with Ultimate. And then probably right on the tail end of Ultimate, they're just like, bam, Dead or Alive 5 Core Fighters. Hmm. By, but it only came with one character, so you can get like different versions. So you can get like Core Fighters, like Kasumi, or Core Fighters Hitomi, or whatever that had like that one character that you wanted to play. So you could pick your version that you wanted to pick the one, so you could just play that one character. Oh, okay. But this one, the new one that they have for six, gives you four characters. They give you Kasumi, they give you um, fucking. Hayabusa. Well, I don't know the last one. They just randomly changed the four characters that were available. Like a, weekly? Are you thinking of Tekken? No, I'm talking about hmm. Dead or Alive. So, like, when you got the free version, they had four fighters that you could play as. Mm -hmm. But they would switch every week which four it were. So you'd never be, like, super proficient. Or you'd have a chance to, you know, test out everybody that you wanted to test out. Yeah. I don't remember too much about Core Fighters. For no, five, yeah, because me and me and Tori played it while she was beating my ass. So. Yeah. But <laughs> it's, a, it's a fun game. I recommend it. At least like with the, I'm not too sure about Ultimate, but I believe with last round it was a, it was a discounted game when it came out. I before. recommend the hundred. I recommend the hundred dollar season pass. I recommend you shut up. Five six. Stop it. <laughs> I, Stop it, Jeff. Hundred dollar season lobbies. <laughs> Is this the hill you want to die on? Opening cinematics. I, I really fucking hate that. Like, why aren't the characters separate from that? What do you mean? Oh, the actual characters yeah. themselves. I mean, yeah, I think like, yeah, I think like why? Can, why isn't that you separate? Can. If you, you can't. They are separate. You can just buy yeah. But the why are they? Why are they in there at all? I don't know. Just, that is kind of. Why can't they're they bundling everything for? I get they it, have though. a season pass, affordable edition. That's like Tec twenty bucks. Gonna <laughs> do. Actually, you know what? Not all the characters. Are sold separately. Only Neo Tengu is sold separately. Phase Four is not sold separately. I think. I have to double I don't check. Really, don't so you're quote giving me, me a reason to. Not why is buy it the like? Game. Why is it like that? I don't. I don't know if that's a hundred percent. But I have to. I'm sure they'll, I have to, they'll I have have to some check. feedback for it eventually and, and change the way. Or well, they've been do a. They've been updating the Twitter recently because there there were some issues um, at launch, like the whole. Thing. Yeah, like uh, no lobby. The co yeah that they which they've been talking about. They're saying they're gonna put it in the later March update at the end of the month. Um, That's stupid. I like... know. But like the biggest thing was the whole the whole way you earn costumes in Dead or Alive Six, which is so fucking stupid. Where you have to earn these costume points in order to unlock. Uh, to get in order to unlock a costume. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but at first, when it first started, they didn't give you enough. And then when you did get enough, it was always towards a random character's costume. But since then, they fixed it. They actually fixed it. They updated it, so now, like, if you're using the character, and you get costume points, doing arcade mode, uh, time trial, survival, whatever the fuck. It'll um, unlock for the character It'll you're unlock using. for that character that you're using. And well, you depending on the difficulty or whatever, it'll unlock it for that specific costume. You didn't so, like it was totally random? No, who the fuck would want that? What, what do you yes, mean? You, I want to play as Tina and unlock, and unlock outfits for fucking Hayate. Yes, thank I'm you. Playing, I'm mm. playing Kasumi. I want outfits unlocked for Neo I can't Neo wait Tenjo. to dress up my sexy wife who's Rio Hayabusa. <laughs> 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 it was so fucking dumb. I'm so glad they fixed it, though. Mm. They changed so looking, it. Um, I didn't actually look over the whole fucking... That big fighting game. <laughs> I didn't look over the season pass for it before, but looking at it here, it's like 
I features it volume, like... co- costumes volume one. It's thirteen costumes in a second volume for that. Yeah, for the wedding dresses. I was like, yeah, and then just... costume, two costume packs, additional character, three characters. Yeah, Neo Tengu Phase Four. You get my Shiryu my Shiryu. and my... whatever other character that they haven't announced yet. And oh yes, yeah, the just... years of uh, 2018, 2019, the years of SNK licensing the characters out to everything. Yeah. It's funny because like. Mai was in five, right? Yep. Yeah, and she was also DLC in that, right? I think they added her in a free update or in an update one day. But they they took her away. The only the only sell her. I so. think the only two paid DLC characters, at least in the beginning, was fucking uh, Raijin and Neo Tengu. Can we talk? Can we talk about the real issue with that our life? Like the real uh, overlying issue that like no one's talking about. What, what is it? And that? that's the exclusion of the virtual fighter characters like Sarah and fucking Jackie. You're not gonna get. You weren't. Back. You're not getting. Like let back. no stop. They're not, they're they gone. should have been there. They're gone. They should have been the, there. All with their hold... fucking recorded voice lines that were from the, like twenty years ago. The voice lines ripped straight from <laughs> fucking virtual fighter four. Nice chai, sweetie. You did, Ultra compressed. Did I tell you <laughs> that that they haven't changed it? They've been using the same voices since four Evo. Like. I where you just play as Sarah, and she's like, I'm no pushover, sweetie. And it's got that fucking grady quality to it. You can just hear it. And bring them back. Because Virtual like, Fighter come back. Just bring them back. So, say, so Sega, when's the next Virtual Fighter? And they're just like... <laughs> they're just like, look forward to Team Sonic Racing. Dude, Dead or Alive <laughs> Dead or Alive 6, subtitle Virtual Fighter. Like, there you go. At all get the Virtual froggy, Fighter characters. Get your froggy shirt today. I like how Tecmo was just like, Dead or Alive wouldn't be a thing once we're Virtual Fighter. Good thing we're more successful though, fucking assholes. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you want your you want your new Virtua Fighter? Just go to Japan and play Virtua Fighter Five in the arcades. It's the best you're gonna get. That's not new. Exactly. That's not new at all. <laughs> please exactly. look, look forward. Long look forward to our game. Look, please look forward to our new game, Judgment, being delayed this summer. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a relevant featuring Virtua Fighter character. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have you? I know you guys don't really follow Yakuza all that much. Or like the I know of the game, but I don't but know nothing of the, the new game, which is like a spin off title called Judgment, whatever the fuck else subtitle it's it called has. Judge Eyes in Japan. It's called Judgment here, but drop the E. Drop the E. So Drop the E, yeah. Uh, so Judgment? Judgment? No, it's, it, no, it's still Judgment. It, judgment. It, makes no, it makes no sense. It's just Weird. what they're going for. It's going to get delayed. Mm. Of course. Super delayed. You got, like, in case you didn't know what's going on, one of the, I guess, like, one of the actors or. One of the main villains in the game, his voice actor was caught uh, with cocaine in his system. Oh man, Be and it's um for anyone who doesn't know in Japan, uh, when you're caught with drugs, your whole life is over. You yeah. might as well be shot right there. <laughs> Public because execution. They, they 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 literally erase the man's entire history, like over nothing. So they're like, pretty, they're like, God pretty, damn it, drugs! I'll be right back. And the fucking like executive or whatever at Sega, whoever's making the fucking game, sticks his hand in his fucking desk and he pulls out the fucking glove, the Thanos glove with the fucking the gauntlet <laughs> with the fucking gems. He's just like, and he's fucking gone. <laughs> because, <laughs> Did I ever tell guy, you it like how serious? Also, Sorry, go ahead. This guy also plays Olaf in Japan, so he's been taken off Frozen Two and also Square gave a word and said uh, we're updating the Japanese version to remove his voice. Wow. Damn, oh yeah, within, with, within, a, within a day, they've already removed everything. Uh, ironically enough, they pulled one of his movies off um, the main network over there and they replaced it with an Indiana Jones movie starring River Phoenix. Do you know what River Phoenix died of? No. A drug overdose. Huh. Wait, huh. so they huh. removed his voice from Olaf. So if you yeah. play the game in Japan now, is this like a speechless Olaf? I don't think, they, I don't think they've updated it yet, but you can right. just update the voice lines because there's not really much for Olaf in it anyway. But the, but yeah, he's been he was a famous dude. He was part of a, if you've ever heard of Den Denki Dengeki Groove, he was part of that. So it's funny that we go over this because I remember I a few years back. I read a story about uh, how serious the drug shit is in Japan, and there's, I, I read this, this art, it was like this guy talking to, on a, I forgot what, where it was exactly online, but he was talking about his experience in Japan, and how he, uh, he had, he had marijuana on him, 
and as soon as he walked, like, he kind of went through customs in Japan, and, like, they, you know, they checked him, he got caught with marijuana, and he got imprisoned, and they would not let him leave the country at all. Dude, kids caught with small marijuana. amounts of marijuana. Small Kids caught with small amounts of marijuana, their life is almost over, like, it's ridiculous. It's, yeah, it's crazy how, like, much they don't like drugs there, yeah, and the, how, how uh, serious yeah. they are. Yet the artist for Ronan Kenshin got caught with pedophilia porn, and uh, all he got was a two thousand dollar fine. Hey man, uh, if you're a pedophile, then, you're like, I mean, good. to to be fair, in like Japan and stuff, yeah, they take drugs and shit seriously, and he like crack down that shit hard. But like, they almost like, I don't want to say encourage, but like with like anime and stuff, with like the whole like with the lolis and shit, it's like it's, a lot of the times it's boring, like creepy, and the. Just air that shit all the fucking time. Yeah, they they definitely normalize yeah. the obsession with small bodied. I wouldn't people. say that. I mean, it's just, considering I, there is considering in 2015 they put that law in the action. Well, yeah, long. but it, it took a law you, in 2015. You're you're right. It took way too long, but they still don't see pedophilia. Bear, in, bear on the in same mind, way. like anime that shows that shit that doesn't like rep, that's like mid, like a minority of the people. Of the population, there's like there's like, been people fighting the whole that whole thing in general. But the fact that the artist he not only got to keep his job, he just paid a fine and nothing else happened to him. Yeah, some people might look at him differently, but he still has his fucking job. It's for, like when 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 I saw Kenshin was announced for Jump Force, I was a little annoyed. Like the fact that his character's in there. Yeah, I don't care if it's owned by Soisha. Fuck off! It shouldn't even be in there. Yeah, like it shouldn't. He, he shouldn't even be remembered. He should have lost his job. <laughs> well, okay. Okay, snort keep in mind though, if you ever go to Japan, Japanese fucking taste? diddling little kids is okay. But fuck. Whoa, 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 whoa! We here at uh, Turbo Select DX Enterprises do not entertain diddling kids. Obviously, or, I'm just saying. Or the people who. Uh, Collect art of such things. I Jeremy, entertain go, the word diddling because I think it's funny. It is a funny word. But anyway, <laughs> fucking doing that to little kids is a okay over there, but drugs bad, big bad. Like that's I said, like, terrible. Like, like Jeff said, they put that law in in 2015, but I mean, like that still hasn't stopped the the whole like Richard said, lowly little bodies, little kids. But it's it's just creep. Like I, I watched this one anime. I forgot what it was. Uh, on it was on Crunchyroll and like. Literally, the whole anime was, like, this little girl living with another family, and, like, her, like, upper body, like, her, her breasts would, like, randomly fall out of her tank top, and I was like, this is creepy, I'm turning it off, like, right away, I was like, this is too weird, and the fact that they let that shit air is, like, really awkward for me, because, like, the girl was obviously, like, only, like, 12 years old or some shit like that, and I was like, I was just watching it, and then that shit happened, I was like, nope. <laughs> I understand, like, I... I also understand that like anime and shit doesn't really count towards like it's it's not against the law it is not it is not pe pedophilia by their laws whatever like that because it's it's a fictional art whatever that they put out in the story but it's still creepy and it makes you feel some type of way and it's really weird and gross. Yeah. It's pretty bad. Now that the podcast has turned uh, tied for the worse. Yeah, it's just gotten uh we got a uh, pretty uh controversial with a lot of our topics. Good way to end it. Yeah. <laughs> right on pedophilia. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> no. Remember, kids, don't do crack. In Japan. In Japan. <laughs> You'll get arrested, and you will never be able to leave, ever. Tell us, Bobby Boucher, how do you do it? Well, he, he did the, the quarterback, he needed to put the football, and then I run with the football, and then, <laughs> which leads us to our next point. Bro, I died when he showed it on work the other day. <laughs> how you doing, boy? I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. But he, we put Waterboy on. Oh, work. Waterboy, yeah. That <laughs> and was... it was the KKK head dude, like, <laughs> the fucking football. He's like, how you doing, boy? And he kicks him. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> But, uh, yeah. Any, uh, any closing comments here before we... You can check us out at Neo Lunar Edge on Twitch TV. Yeah, we stream every so often. Every time we stream every other week. Yeah. Uh... We've been streaming a lot of Devil May Cry and Smash, and I tried a little Tetris 99 last week, and I got my ass beat. I also constantly. I also tried streaming Dead or Alive, and it was surprisingly successful. Surprisingly. We had people in chat who weren't chatting, but I think we hit another milestone that day. We did. It was like over three, three hours. Three hours. Like three hours. Well, no, I was for Devil May Cry. 
But fucking, I would like to do, we would have hit the eight hour one, but the stream like to kick out randomly every so often. Yeah, because your Elgato was fucking poopy. Oh, well, we got a new one, so. Yeah. Well, you got a new Elgato? It's a story for off the air. <laughs> <laughs> we can't talk about this. Yeah, it's a story for off the air, just in case. You know, just in case the investigation team at Amazon gets a little, uh. That's all I already said too much. Yeah, <laughs> 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 yeah I opened up! <laughs> Poor me, <laughs> 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 But yeah, fucking, yeah, we got the new Elgato, so the other one would cut off every, like, hour or so, and it was really bad. Hey, where, where's your, um, where's your old, you got that HD PBR? Should we have that? Right yeah, I wanna, I wanna see if you have an aux port. Alright, I'm, I'm, I'm done. Get, get the fuck off. You stop listening. We're done talking to you. Alright. Anyway, guys, it's been, a uh, Turbo Slack DX. Uh, where can he follow you, Jeffrey? On, what, yeah, well, Jeff, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, Who are you doing? What, your mouth. Follow, you, you, follow you, 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 me if you want on Music Edge too. Yeah. On Twitter. Twitter. I uh, I post all sorts of crap. Go join his JoJo's Discord. Is it? You your could. I, yes, it's mine. Okay. You could join a lot of things. Where I am. What about you, Jeremy? Uh, Twitter at uh. A very complicated name that I don't have. Give me a second. I'm gonna go look at it because I don't remember. He'll, he'll link it to you. Is uh, that the Tech Noir? No, it's not. EX Cannon Drill. It's fucking it's Delta, Delta Red. Delta Red EXE Red. on Twitter. He doesn't want to oh, go I have by 80 K followers now. He, yeah. doesn't wanna, he doesn't want to go by Chaos Edge anymore. I've got people following me again because of whole, Emma's whole blow up. But anyway. Man, um, you're not. <laughs> it's That's fucking funny. funny. But uh, 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 that uh, could follow us on the the uh, Turbo Select Twitch Neil Lunar or not that or Neo Lunar Edge where we stream every so often. I don't have I'll the either... login information for the actual Turbo Select DX page because I think Jeff still has it. But uh, so I've just been streaming off my page in Neo Lunar Edge. You can catch me streaming Devil May Cry 5, which I'll always be doing, or maybe some fighting games like Tekken, Dead or Alive, Street Fighter 5. Probably some uh, Inner Night and Birth soon because I'm going to probably jump back in. It's been a while since I played it and I miss it. What about you, Richard? Twitter slash Blue Rookie. YouTube slash. Not Blue Rookie, but you can search Blue Rookie on YouTube. You'll see me. Twitch slash Blue Rookie. B L U E R U K I. Check out his little Fortnite videos before they uh, become obsolete because no, they're already anymore. obsolete. <laughs> Damn, they're pretty good moved though. On. Been playing a lot of Apex and a lot of, uh, well, less Blackout, but Apex is fun. Blackout was fun. Yesterday. Blackout was this fun morning. yesterday, yeah. yeah I, I feel like that's a very particular instance. Yeah, we need to jump back into that. I mean, it was, it was definitely a change of pace, but it was nice. Yeah. It was nice. I definitely recommend the game, still, even though you got What in the for. goddamn was that? It was some, somebody shared some porn on Twitter. Oh I mean, that's the wonderful thing about Twitter. It's like. <laughs> Like I used to, I used to freak a uh, Tumblr a lot because I just wanted to see some anime titties, and they're like everyone was like we're migrating over to Twitter because of the great Tumblr fall. Yeah, so. every, every so often on my Twitter, like I, like I follow artists and like a bunch of other people, and sometimes they'll they'll like porn. Yeah, that's the only thing that sucks is like when someone uh, like someone else you're following likes something, it like shows it, which is like understandable because it's like social media. I follow you, you follow me, kind of thing. Yeah, but it's like. I'll be, I like I don't. I'm trying to see your furry dicks. That's what I'm saying. Like I'm like, oh, it's, just, uh, it's a lot of dick. <laughs> Damn, this is what a fucking pop pedophilia, porn, fucking drugs, transsexuals, transsexuals. We hit everything today. Yeah, we covered drugs. a lot. <laughs> Did we say drugs? You said drugs. A lot of this is bad, except for trans transsexual and being a trans person. I disagree. I'm just kidding. I was thinking about saying. Podcast it. is canceled. We're done. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>